As far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Peace, Kofa, Crow Talk Podcast. Wake your glass up. What's going on, y'all? Happy Saturday. Today is February 24th, 2020, 24. The year of our Lord. The time is now 7 p.m. in the lovely city of Atlanta, Georgia. That is Eastern Standard Time. I am back in Growth Talk Studios. Thank you all for being in here. Once again, this is Growth Talk Podcast, where we help men find a positive fuck it, where growth stands for gentlemen reaching our wealth through healing. I am your humble host, Kofa, K-O. F-A, not coffee, not Khufu, not Kofi, or any variation thereof. Kofa rhymes with sofa. Easy to say, easy to spell. Y'all know the first rule? Take your shoes off when you come to my house. Hit that like button. It's free. Again, the like button is free. If I'm new, if you're new, excuse me, if I'm new to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. If I came down your timeline, you're sticking your head in the door, want to see what this bald head red nigga talking about, Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely like like button. Help me keep in the algorithm. I've been out of pocket a minute. My schedule kind of off. But hit the like button. Take your shoes off when you come in the house. It's free. Also, you see the Cash App. You see the PayPal on the screen. You all, you've you been in these YouTube streets long enough. You know how to use the Super Chats, Super Stickers. I'm not going to beat up on y'all and shake my 10 cup. It all helps the channel to grow. I appreciate y'all sticking and staying with me. I'm going to go ahead and slide to these comments because we're going to get into the content straight up tonight because I got a long day tomorrow. But let's see who's in the building. Brother JT in the, brother, in the building. What's going on, JT? I appreciate you being in here, bro. Sprinkle me, man. Sprinkle me. That's the West Coast homie, man. I shouted you out last time, JT, uh, when I talked about Cartagena. I think you might have missed that video, bro. But if you go toward the end of the video, got some cheeks on there for you. I appreciate you checking on me while I was on vacay, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, salute to the brother, JT. Let's keep on going. Sister Armonize in the building. You go, girl. I appreciate you being in here, sis. You keep on cooking and growing your channel like you've been doing. Stay consistent. Don't be a Kofa. Don't be consistently inconsistent. Lord Jesus, I don't know how I made it this far and join the elite 8% of us YouTubers that do crack the code and get over a thousand subscribers. But I'm here. I'm almost at 2,000. So y'all make sure y'all share this as well. Try to get your boy some more, each one of you. That's your homework. Try to get me five more subscribers each. I really appreciate it. Let's keep on going. Brother BT in the building. Hand down, man down. Mama, there goes that man. Fun fact, I will be reacting to Brother Broken Traditions content tonight with some of the first videos. Thank you, good brother. We had a good laugh and a good talk about some of this topic tonight. Sister Felicia in the building. What's going on? Sister? You go, girl. <laughs> Appreciate you being in here. Brother Jay Gray in the building. Brother Blaze in the building. It says, peace and abundance, Kofa. Maz in the chat. Hope all is well this evening. Listening in. I appreciate you. Skinny boy in the building. What's going on, good brother? Thank you for being in here. Thank all of you for being in here, man. We're going to go ahead and get into the content. Y'all seen the thumbnail, man. We got to talk about these corporate city girls. Again, these corporate city girls. Mind you, before all this shit was coming out, I told y'all the prim, proper, well-dressed, chucks and pearls, ski wee, professional black women, I shop at Target instead of Walmart ass bitches, are some of the worst motherfuckers to date. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! We're going to see tonight that there's so many sisters in these prominent positions and a white girl. Where, where my sound drop at? We, and, and we got a white girl for y'all. And we got a little snow bunny getting herself in trouble, fucking around with Pookie too. But again, remember what Kofa say. I don't just be on here just talking shit just for the sake of talking shit. When I'm telling you this stuff, I'm telling you the personal stories that I've experienced. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's anecdotal. That's just you. All due respect to Kevin Samuels. That was one of the things I disagree with him about. I believe in anecdotal evidence. Why? Because if I'm talking, then the next brother starts talking, then the next brother starts talking, and we start comparing notes for this anecdotal experience, we're really going to find out that all this shit is averaging out, and we're not fucking crazy. Got it! Hotter 
in fish grease. So once again, these well-dressed, prim, proper, I shop at Target instead of Walmart ass women are some of the worst women to date. We'll get into that tonight. They have had this black girl magic, black girl rocks. They've had all this shit permeating the community. Has everyone convinced that a black woman with a job, because that's how I used to choose my women a lot of times. Salute Felicia H for the $2 super chat. I got you in a second, sis. But that's how I used to choose my women because my mother always worked. And again, I've said it here a hundred times. Wasn't raised by a single mom. Both of my parents worked. My parents are still together 43 years later. But my mother always worked, even if it was just part time. It is what it is. But my mother always put in some work, including raising me and my brother, including being a wife to my um to my father. So it is what it is. That's how I used to choose my women. Well, damn, if I got sick, if I got injured, I know I got somebody with me that got my back and she can do more than throw on a pretty face and lay on her back for the next nigga trying to get a couple of dollars. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! That shit backfired. I didn't... Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid! Remember, it's the same thing with a lot of men. That personality is that personality, but a lot of times women get away with it just by virtue of being a woman. Um because we don't think they're as bad as men or if they get in these high positions, they wouldn't do the things that men do, just like they they love. If it was a woman in charge, if a woman was president, it'll be less less wars in the world. You a goddamn lie. Y'all bitches can't get along day to day. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! Be done fucked around and hit a goddamn nuke button. Let me get back to these comments, then we're going to start rolling into the content. Everybody speaking, y'all know I love to see it. Look, <laughs> skinny boy say corporate thugging like USDA. Oh! Gotta give him one on that. <laughs> oh, bro, they out here wilding. That's why I put that damn gun in the damn city girls. Let's keep on going. Uh, Felicia says, oh, $2 super chat. Felicia says, hit our theme song. I got you, sis. These last $2. I appreciate that, sis. Y'all keep the super chat, super stickers. Any way you choose to donate, coming, including hitting the like button. Also, sharing is free. So take your shoes off when you come in the house and hang your coat up. Hit the like button and hit the share button. I appreciate it. Brother KP in the building. He says, bro, you know uh, you be chasing uh, Keisha <laughs> Ali Jenkins, the AKA. Nah, bro, you know what? I take that back. I was getting ready to lie and say I ain't never had an AKA. I'm a liar. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! <laughs> I'm gonna stop, KP. You called me out, bro, and you're correct. I didn't... Let's move on. Uh, Pooh Man says, what up, though? What's going on, bro? Appreciate you being in the building. Jay Gray says, Tiff is a thug who needs her, her counts... Her counts blues Jesus. I think it might have been a typo, but something got to come back. Uh, let me see. Uh, Jay Gray says, let it snow. Yep, we got a little white girl up here too. Jay Gray says, bars. BT, he says, my wife prefer to shop at Target, laugh out loud. I'm got it! Hotter than fish grease! I'm triggered. Look, for those that don't know, Broken Traditions is my homeboy in real life. And I always tease him about the prim, proper, well-dressed. I shop at Target instead of Walmart ass women. And his wife hates it. Shout out to Mama Lex. You go, girl! <laughs> And Mama Lex, I, I, I heard what you did. <laughs> I heard what you did in Walmart today. So just know that I know. We, th we snapped the reality stone. We use the reality stone. I did my Thanos snap. And Mama Lex was a whole other person in Walmart. Or so the story got back to me. But it's okay. I'm going to let it go, sis. I ain't even going to rub that one in. But just know that I know. Shout out to Broken Traditions again. Skinny Boy says, don't talk about Cocoa Butter. <laughs> Look, Skinny Boy, <laughs> where my button at? Where my button at? I moved some stuff around again. I moved it around again. Damn it. Oh, uh, there we go. Skinny Boy, one of them. Don't let Umar find out we talking about this white girl tonight either. Blaze say, Kofa hating because Walmart had those white teeth. <laughs> Got it! Hotter than fish grease! 
Look, <laughs> I went to Target and Walmart for the white tees. Those that missed that joke, when I was in Cartagena and I was sharing my videos while I was in Colombia, I had on like the same outfit. BT said I was dressed like a cartoon character. I had the same shit on every day. It was a different shirt, goddammit. Some of them were crew necks, some of them were V-necks, but all I wore down there was white tees. Um, uh, Jay Gray back at it. <laughs> you got me, Blaze. Jay says, Tiff needs to get dressed out in County Blues. Oh, she needs to get dressed out in County Blues. She a thug on the trick daddy side of the game. Big facts, bro. Uh, KP says, uh, Roke Judith, my wife loves Target too. Kofa is being insensitive to the plight of Mary Black women. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! <laughs> Y'all killing me, man. Brother Malika in the building. Been a minute, brother. I got your super chat. Thank you. Salute to you. I got you in a second. Brother JT says, damn, Kofa, my baby mama and AKA. Remember all them AKAs was arrested for prostitution at ATL? My baby mama friend was in the panty way. Knocks down another three ball. This guy is hotter than fish grease here. <laughs> Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! <laughs> <laughs> they had ski weeding it up behind behind bars somewhere on rice street god damn jt shit <laughs> brother malike in the building with the five dollar super chat he says strong independent a man is a part of the plan he's just a companion equals a single bitter and lonely hyena with a box of wine <laughs> look felicia talking about with a box of wine if you grew up in the 80s Y'all know what the fuck Malika talking about. Them aunties, them them the original rich aunties that been living that soft life. They always kept a man but could never keep a man. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! That box of wine used to tell on them all the time, bro. Malika preaching. Let me see. Uh, KP says, in my white tee, <laughs> in my white tee. <laughs> Look, some of this shit we about to see, skinny boy, is haram. Abdul, get the rocks. Salute to uh, brother uh, Commander Coop of the Do Better Podcast, man. Still chasing his soundboard. I'm going to get there one day, brother. But let's go ahead and get into this content. We are going to start off with a long video. I'm going to have to chop it up a little bit with BT. Um, Broken Traditions did an excellent job talking about the Fani. Her name is Fani. Fani, Fani, Fani. Please don't call her Fanny. Get a sister that little bit of respect, even though she's fucking up. Her name is Fani. Like you're fawning over something. Fonny Willis. He did an excellent job covering this, but BT took another direction that I found interesting. So I wanted to react because me and him were tripping on the phone and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see why. But the black church has supported black women to the point that they can do no wrong, even when they're dead ass wrong. And this shit is sad because this is a big part of the black community still even in 2024 is the black church and they've supported black they supported black women so much they forgot about black boys and black men see we like to talk shit about black men all the time let me adjust my camera a little bit bring that down just a little bit we love to talk shit about black men but we always forget about that little boy he once was that everybody overlooked so when he leaves the community everyone acts like they're surprised so we've left the church. We've left. I'm not going to say we left the polit the Democratic Party, as you'll see. But the politics, the separation of church and state, as BT is going to mention, it hasn't been separated in quite some time. And especially today, it's even more merged as we're getting ready to see. Let's go ahead and get into tonight's first video. What's going on, y'all, man? So today I want to talk about the black church, how the black church is so political how it's so politicized now it's no longer the separation of church and state now the black church is intertwined with whatever the democrats got going on and it's so embarrassing today we're going to talk about funny willis and how the black church is pandering to her actions right when funny willis went to testify in front of the court and it was all over the TV. To me, it was really embarrassing. I want to talk about a few things what she said out there. First that of all, I'm going to pause it real quick. Like, the sisters may have called it. I only caught it on IG because of a sister. But finally was going through it so emotional. And that's probably why she was in her sister girl bag. And, you know, biting back 
at the uh, prosecution and all that. Sis dress on backwards. I didn't Is see. this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Sis dress is on backwards. As you can see, the little zip, just look at the zipper. That shit is supposed to go in the back. So people were saying it, but of course, you know, it took another sister to call it out. I just wanted to point that out. That's when they are well dressed, prim, proper, look good, chucks and pearls, ski weeing it up, all that good shit. They be so mentally and emotionally fucking drained. That's a dangerous woman. Everybody's mad about the guy that flips out and beats up a woman. Nigga, that's one incident a lot of times. And most of the time, it doesn't happen. And most of the time, when it does, it does not lead in death the way people try to paint black men. But when black women are in this mode, that shit can go on for years, literally. But that mental and emotional break um, strain that they're under, when they break, they usually take other people with them. So we're gonna see how this whole case plays out, but let's get back to the content. To me, it's look bad. Like for for example, the cash part, right? I got all this cash wherever I lay my hat at. You sound like a hood rat bottle girl. Like we're not talking about having money where you live or you having a stable place to live at wherever I lay my head. You sound like a bottle girl. You sound like a stripper. It just sounded so bad and so tacky. It was so hood. Then you're talking about uh, one this this. This has got me. This is me personally. Uh, when Nathan Wade was taking a trip to Northern California and she was like, oh, I don't drink wine. I drink great, great goose. And then I paid for uh, a bunch of stuff. I think we did two different wine tours that you do, which are pretty expensive. Um, I think I bought him. He likes wine. I don't really like wine, to be honest with you. I like great goose. Um, what the fuck that got to do with any goddamn thing? Got it! fish grease why the hell does she feel the need to inject that why again this is this is this prim proper attitude of i'm a real bitch i'm still hood i'm still one of the people even though i'm dressed in these pearls and don't get it twisted and y'all know the attitude went on from there i just had to stop real quick let's keep rolling i bought him a bottle of wine while it was just like who drinks great goose so it was like Real stereotypical things that I didn't like about the whole thing and how it would look, right? How, to me, it was a bad look. And I was like, I don't really want to touch on it too much, but I have to touch on it now. Uh, what is that song? Take Me There, We Gotta Go There by uh, Black Street Maya and Blinky Blink in the back of the whack-ass wagon. So the church decided they want to kind of take it upon themselves and to give Honey Willis gifts and gives her flowers and have sermons about her. And I'm going to do reactions to all these different preachers and churches that is pandering to this behavior that Fonnie Willis had, right? She <laughs> did sleep with a married man. And when you get married, it's a agreement before God that you and your partner are going to stick together no matter what. And for her to be coming outside of the marriage, sleeping with a married man, I mean... Not for nothing, I'm not going to lie. Nathan Wade, ex-wife, was also having an affair. So we know it's just maybe Nathan Wade type of issues. But you sleeping with a married man and the church is now praising her. And to me, that's a problem. It's problematic. So let's get straight to it, man, because there's a lot of videos I got to react to. And y'all forgive me ahead of time. I got to move myself over here because... I want y'all to pay close attention to BT's face while he's looking at these pastors. And this is why I called him while I was at work on Friday and just fell the full fuck out. But let's go. Man, this is... Oh, let me catch this. Let me catch these super chats real quick. Jay Gray with the $2 super chat says, uh, Kofa, sis dress on backwards. <laughs> these last $2. Last $2. Another $2 super chat from Brother KP. He says, Raw D and cheap liquor. These last $2. Last $2. <laughs> Who said I am 100% correct? Let's keep on going. I'm going to just bring y'all content up on the screen, uh, comments up on the screen. Because this video, um, and this is how I knew it was serious, man. When BT sits down and he does a 30 minute video, it's just a, a, a VOD, a video on demand, a regular YouTube video, not a live. Because you usually BT is between eight minutes, maybe 15 if he feels it's an important topic. 
bro almost went 30 minutes on this one so we're gonna ride this one out man and just enjoy it we might pivot off of it a little bit early but i got to get this snapshot of the black church let's keep going we got a lot to talk about today so let's get to the first one this is coming from uh what is this the Bahrain seven day adventist church right so this church right here is giving funny willis a gift and i want to i want to point out somebody that's in this video that is, i did a video on that to me is also problematic that's in his video and I'll leave it in. This is get straight to, to it. Come and to be a part of it. At this time, we are delighted today, amen, that DA Fani Willis has consented to be here with us to come and to be a part of our worship experience. She is not a stranger to Berean. Her daughter went to our school just across the way. And we are delighted that in her busy schedule, Back she was up, able man. to pencil us in. And she is here this morning to accept a, an award of accomplishment and achievement. And so we prayerfully ask that you will pray as we go into this brief moment to acknowledge and affirm the good work that she has done and is doing. And we're asking and soliciting your prayers on her behalf because when you are in that yes. arena and when you are engaged in the work that she's engaged with, especially with individuals who have- Look, if BT wasn't blinking, you wouldn't think that this brother <laughs> was alive. His face is frozen like that the majority of this goddamn video. I was like, he is just as disturbed as I am. Not even with the whole Fani and Nathan Wade thing. Look, first of all, the dude wife cheated on him. She wanted to break up with him. He found some feel better pussy. But the feel better pussy came from his boss, a woman that hired him and paid him money. So that the whole optics don't look right especially when you're going after a dude like trump get mad if you want to get triggered if you want to i don't give a shit. that's not the dude to go after about some damn voting fraud after he fucking lost you don't think trump was finna fight and i believe these damn texts they already done pinged their cell phones i believe some damn text messages came out but we'll get to that in another video on another night but look at bt's face it's frozen like that He's not a zombie. He survived this video making this video. But if the brother wasn't blinking, you <laughs> you wouldn't know he was alive because his face is damn near froze like this the whole video. Let's go. Have all kinds of powers and connections and so forth. It is a challenge, a daunting challenge. And yet and still under God and through the grace of God, sustaining and strengthening her, she pressed on and pressed forward. So at this time, so they're giving Fonny Willis an award for her achievements. But Fonny Willis is in the crosshairs because of the situation, because she was sleeping with a married man. Sleeping with a married man that she hired on the biggest case of her life. And she gets an award. That's This is why people don't take the black church seriously. This Thanks. is why Joe Biden goes to the black church and he knows he could go and say a few things and say the words white supremacy and all these type of things and people will stand up and clap for him. This is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. They're going to invite her to come and they're going to invite... Come on, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Come on, amen, amen, amen. Boy, y'all going in. She <laughs> is one of us. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. All right. So now, this is them after they got her up there. Hold on. Before BT goes on. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. I'm going to let my brother continue. They needed to pray over Fonnie Willis and what she's going through. And I'm going to tell you why this is disturbing. But let's play this clip first. <laughs> that is so mighty and so bold and so brave and so precise that she could not help but to say my help cometh from the Lord. All on do poo. And Lord, we pray in a real way that tomorrow will be better than yesterday. That Lord, she will stand and give you the due honor and praise for you're a God that inhabits the praises of your people. So now, Lord, be her Jehovah Jireh, be her Jehovah Nisi, 
be the lily in her valley and the bright and morning star. Yeah, KP. Now, Lord, because we know that you are able, capable, and dependable, we place Sister Willis into your care. And what hands are better fit than the master's hands? So now, Lord, with expectation, we stand in awe with what you will do. Praise the Lord. And this is our humble prayer, we pray in Christ's name. Amen and amen again. It's like you can All write right. a script. You heard, me, the, you heard his prayer, let me, right? Let me pause, BT, real quick. It's like you can write a script to some of these pastors and these deacons and stuff, man. You can legitimately damn near write a script. I knew he was going to speak on Jehovah Jireh. All this shit. No disrespect to anybody's religion either. I grew up in the church. I told y'all, my mother and evangelist. But it's damn near you can set your clock to this stuff. First of all, it's an election year. There is a black woman that needs saving, even though they've constantly told us they don't need nobody. They got this shit handled. I know the right people. I've been doing this job forever and a goddamn day. We done heard this shit time and time again. Now lawyers coming out the woodwork. Now you got to bring the pastor in. Then the pastor got to go get Jesus involved. How about y'all leave Jesus the fuck alone? That man tired. Every time some niggas get the nigging, we want to call on the Lord. Leave that man alone. Back to the content one more time because BT about to get into it. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. Let's continue. I want you to pay attention to somebody that's right there smack dead in the middle. Right there smack dead in the middle. You see that lady with the, I guess the Burberry uh, cloak or uh, whatever that is she has on with the red glasses, tall black woman. That's Natalie Hall. Natalie Hall was just uh, found guilty for sexual harassment that she was trying to sleep with one of her, um, one of her workers that was under her and she fired him because he wasn't trying to get up her nappy duck out and he sued Fulton County for a million dollars. But she's able to stay on her position because she's not getting fired because she was elected. <clears throat> so Fulton County lost a million dollars because of that woman right there. And that look, I'm proud of Brother Suda. We hear this shit all the time. Brothers talk about in private how they went through stuff. Um, the women in power, this is a narcissistic trait. So it has nothing to do with fucking gender. I'm talking about this shit because there's so many times everybody want to point the finger at men especially in the black community we don't even have these positions of power a lot of time to do this shit we hype up the young girls black girl magic black girls rock all that shit then when they grow up as adults they get the positions then they fuck up in the position they want to talk about how black men didn't support them so i guess he didn't support her because he didn't like bt said run up in her nappy, nappy dugout but you know i gotta put some kofa on it he ain't fuck that bitch so now he a problem. She fired a dude. He sued a county and wins a million dollars. So I live in Fulton County. So some of my tax money going to this brother. I'm mad, but I'm low key happy. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Let's keep on going. Now we got Fonny Willis, who had Fulton County pay Nathan Wade over six hundred and fifty thousand dollars we talk about 1.7 million dollars between these two women that Fulton county paid two men because of their sexual desires and the church is praying over these two people we're praying yeah. over fani and having this woman there as a guest and smack that in the middle if you got these two women there these two fani willis and natalie hall right there in front of you what, what, what kind of church are you running? What kind of church are you running? <laughs> Facts, JT. Look, Thank I'm going to so see, much. I'm see this oh, a sir. little bit. We got to get to, I don't even want to hear her lie in the church. Got to get to the, oh my God. This this is my favorite part of the video. Look at BT face. Imperfect human being. Going. But I can literally <laughs> feel the people who loves me's prayers. Oh, hold on, I gotta stop this shit. If just Skinny Boy says Black History Month been wild. Allah 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 Allah
Brother Malika with the $5 super chat. He says, Nathan was big lily in finest valley. <laughs> These black churches protect and promote black hyena fuckery within our community for decades. That's for the $5. Knocks down another three ball. This guy is hotter than fish grease here. And that's for the comment, Malika. The black church has been having sisters backs for decades, and we wonder why we're here. Let's keep on cooking. Every now and again, you'll throw my name in a prayer. God hears his children. I would very much appreciate that. So I thank you for this honor today, um, because it is an honor worth no. having when it comes from a group of people, such as the people that worship here. So thank you. It's some. See, I, I just wanted to play that one, right? Because that was the one that was involved in Fonnie Willis. Like she was actually there with Natalie Hall. She was actually at that church, right? And then out here, probably somewhere in Metro Atlanta. And I wanted to play that one first, right? So now we're going to get into the pastors that's having these clips coming up all over the country. Not sure where they're located at, but how they're Hello, using CJ. this Fonnie Willis to pander to their black women congregation. How they pander into them, because they, they know these are the people who is fat in their pockets. They know as long as they keep these women single, they know as long as they have Jesus be the husband and not the not a man, but let Jesus be the husband and keep these women single. They know how to keep pandering to them, and they keep they gonna use this situation, this funny Willis situation in that matter. So let's go on to some of these pastors across the nation. That is that is the reason why. You know, it's it's hard for me to find a black church. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? And this this is the reason why. All this political all this political stuff. I don't want to hear about this. Mm. But let's let's check this out. Sisters getting ready to clean up that Fonnie Willis and Judge Tanya Chutkin, they some shouting up she wrote. Them my sisters right there. You hear me? Because neither of them are Please take special notice of BT's face to get caught up in the privileged orange perspective of a tyrant criminal and you can stop you can stay you can delay all you want them sisters said this stuff gonna get cleaned up today and if anybody can clean it up you know it's gonna be some sisters there's some stuff that needs to get clean <laughs> this is crazy Oh, I'll be watching that TV. I say, go on, Fonny. <laughs> well, if you send all them briefs and all that stuff to the judge, I say, go on, Tanya. Clean this stuff up. Talk about what's incorrect and what's unjust. Greg from Cal all right, so this nasty bitch. Oh, wrong one. They had powerful niggardry at work here. We're all infected. No wrong one again. Is this it? This is what I got all those ass whoopings for. <sighs> is this what Dr. King got all them ass whoopings for? Let me catch this super chat from BT. BT dropped a super sticker, a pair character lifting some heavy weights, saying, "Keep it up. I got you, good brother. I appreciate you. I actually have a uh, YouTube open tonight, man. Got two dollars from brother Corey Joe in the building. What's going on, bro? Hand down, man." There goes that man. With the $2 super chat, he says, a lot of the preachers are panderers. These last $2. $2. And this shit is just funny from JT. Good Lord, if I was Jesus, I would not be bothered. He's so sick of us, man. Let's keep on going. I just had to show them. I had to show Pastor Nick Bone real quick, talking about two women caught up in two scandals with two men but God forbid, let it be a black man. He every rapist. We don't protect our women. He every sucker in the book. He don't he don't look out for the 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 well being of the black woman. And he taking advantage and he using his power to his advantage. We have seen this movie before. I don't think we've seen it on this scale to this magnitude where it's back to back to back again. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. Let's keep on going, y'all. Do right here. I apologize in advance because for that reason, his audio is only one side, right? It's only coming out, I think, what is it, the left side? And 
He didn't even know Fonnie Willis' name. He was calling her Fonnie Williams. <laughs> Fonnie Williams. And this is his um his sermon on Fonnie Williams. And Fannie Williams got on the witness stand and with that Inglewood swag from California, she did her thing with what that up, black girl magic. She stood <laughs> up to the prosecutors and the defense and read their rights and let them understand that as much as you want to prosecute me, this trial ain't about me. This trial is about they who have tried to steal the election and she wore them out on stand. Nothing like a sister that got it going on she had hood swag but she was smart and brilliant with her legal mind she was in trouble but she turned that whole situation around and they want to talk about fanny williams and say she's nothing but an angry black woman brothers we need to stand up and protect our sisters and let them know what the fuck did i just say god damn it Kofa, good got it it's hotter than fish grease I'm good at this shit. What, what the fuck did I just say? We don't protect. We need to start standing up, alluding to that we don't protect shit. Let's keep on going. She ain't no angry black woman. Her only problem is that she's a black woman in America that stood up to white America and outperform her white male. And only a brother who have toxic masculinity would have a problem with a strong black woman. So I looked up and said, you go, girl. You do your thing. Go ahead with your black magic, your black girl magic. And she wore them out and she turned that whole situation around. She was so awesome. They were supposed to bring her back on Friday. They said, we ain't going to touch her. Leave her alone. We're going to win this case. And the, and the good news is that Fannie Williams has redeemed herself all because she stood up for herself. She was in trouble, but I got a sticky suspicion and a holy hunch. She was not in that courtroom by herself because the Holy Ghost used that black girl magic and let her do her thing. And she found herself in some legal trouble. And somebody today, I don't care what what kind of trouble you in if you hook up with the holy god has god has a way of bringing you out of trouble do i got somebody in the house today that can testify that god will sir bruh that black girl bruh i forgot about some of these preachers i watched bt video yesterday i told him i was going to react to it man but some of these pastors <sighs> This and me and BT talked about it. this is some shit that Tyler Perry would have wrote. This is a movie that Tyler Perry would have wrote and had them preachers talking just like that. This is some stereotypical nigga shit. There is powerful niggardry at work here. Don't know the woman name. Preaching, hooping, hollering. To inject that toxic masculinity in there. Y'all see the way the game played, man. She did some shit that was questionable. I work in the legal field. I'm a paralegal, man. I talk this shit for a fucking reason. Just the optics alone. I told, I don't give a fuck that they fucking, but you got to wait till the trial over with, y'all. You know that, she know that. And then they take the stand and perjure themselves. I ain't even touched on the fact that after I decided to do this video, then they started talking about they got their cell phones pinging off each other. And finally then sat up there and said, this man ain't been to the house. And they got his cell phone pinging off the nearest tower to her goddamn house. And he stayed the fuck across town. Black women, stop popping that shit about being professional, outpacing black men, doing all this other shit that y'all so much better than us. Cause then when y'all ass get caught up, y'all be relying on us. Like I said, during the fucking pandemic, I ain't hear too much about niggas one shit. Cause you was relying on that mandatory worker. That brother that still had to keep going to work, that trash man, that delivery man, that trucker, those essential workers. Y'all had to rely on those brothers when them corporate jobs sent your ass home. And some of them sent you home with, with a quarter of your pay, half your pay maybe, but you weren't getting the full thing. A few of y'all lucked up. Some of y'all ass got laid off because nobody could see the end of COVID. It went on two years if we're going to be real about the shit. Some of y'all still haven't bounced back. 
But yet and still, when we thought we were just when we was back outside, your ass still struggling to find a job or find a job to meet you back to get you back to where you were when you was popping that shit to solid black men, brothers that were consistently fucking working. But y'all motherfucking, I shop at Target instead of Walmart, ass bitches. Ho ho ho. Green giants. Y'all trifling assholes. That shit caught up with you, didn't it? Now your ass relying on Mr. Essential Worker. Now you need these chicken pecking black pastors to come out and do all this hoop and holler and nigga shit to try to get somebody to support you. Again. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. Let's keep on going. Oh, magic. <laughs> uh, and if you were getting funny. Real quick, pause. Bell, I saw you, sis. What's going on? You go, girl. <laughs> Appreciate you being in here. Well, as you are, you bought that toxic mask. No, excuse me. You would get Fanny Williams. <laughs> this is like a Medea movie. This is like something that Tyler Perry would write. This whole case, this whole situation with Fanny Williams have Tyler Perry all over it. All they got to do is go to East Point <laughs> and go to Tyler Perry Studios and they can reenact this whole thing. He ain't even got to write nothing. He just got to get the actors, the actresses, and the people. He don't got to write nothing. This is all already written for him. This is crazy. That black girl magic. So we got magic and Christianity together. I, I, I didn't know that wizardry was part of Christianity, but I guess black girl magic is. Let's continue. God already healed me. God already delivered. The only one to let you know that I ain't got no problems because of the God that I serve. God already healed me. God already delivered me. God already blessed me. There's no power in this courtroom. There's no power in your questions. I'm here because I want to set the record straight. Sometimes you gotta let your troubles know you won't take me out today. You won't have your way today. I'm letting you know that I'm stronger than you i'm letting you know that i can defeat you how do i know because i serve a god that can do all things without fail and how do i know about this it reminds me of the three hebrew boys that was in the fiery furnace that decided to say i will not bow down to king nebuchadnezzar and king nebuchadnezzar had to say if i threw three of them in there why do i see four in the furnace i don't know about you but when King Darius ran across in the daybreak to see how Daniel been swallowed up by the thin lions, here go Daniel, long live the king, the God that I serve, I shut the mouths up of these lions, and I'm still here today. I need to know that even with Paul... I don't know what this guy to do with Fonny Willis. He just used her name to get it and just start rambling, but that's it. <laughs> was in prison. They began to start singing. Look, what what else we got from BT, man? I'm gonna let this slide. I got another video. I'm hold on, we're gonna let this play out just a little bit more. These same chicken picking ass pastors. Risking their lives to come here to try to get a better opportunity. You have a heads up. So somebody coming in, right? Say a migrant is coming in. With their family they don't have that um distilled in their brain what happened to them in the past in this country they just like yo i'm gonna make it work and they will bust their ass to try to make it work they're gonna go over hurdles yeah you gotta sometimes do things that's not really towards your culture religion yeah think about it think about say like an indian person who name is like something that's hard to pronounce and they just call themselves al just because it's easier you know what i'm saying just just because it's easier they come so in this part, BT was talking about this particular pastor on the screen. Let me move myself over a little bit. But this particular pastor was talking about, you know, working hard, to, you know, working twice as hard to get half as much as black people, especially all women and so on and so on. So, so BT is bringing it home with, I didn't even want to play that. We didn't heard from three chicken pecking ass pastors. We're, we're not going to keep doing that all night. I got more content to get to, but BT is breaking this down on how everybody else, other, other people from other continents, can come here and they make the necessary adjustments, but we're supposed to have all this political power. We're supposed to have all this, this black power. We've been here, we built the country and all that shit, but what the fuck happened? We went Democrat, went blind Democrat. We went religion, we went blind religion, usually Christianity. We blindly support all the sisters and look what's fucking happening. The community has imploded. 
it's imploded. I told um I told a sister, uh, my home girl today, we went out to lunch, we were chopping it up. I said, we are regressing as a country. Not just black folks, but again, when white folks catch a cold, black folks catch pneumonia. So if it's happened across the country, that means that we are fucked as a black community. But let's keep on supporting the sisters when they're out here doing this bullshit. And this is just on the top tier level that's, that warrants news. We haven't even spoke about the day-to-day -day brothers. They got to catch this smoke because somebody lied to HR and said something about them and he done lost his job. Now he done lost his family and on and on and the cycle continues. Let's keep going. I'm here to work. But Fonnie Willis, I'll say another thing. She came here to work. She got caught up in some nonsense, but she came here to work. And what this man is saying that, oh, no matter how good you are, you're still just a Negro in America. You could be a Negro in America, but you still could be successful. Well, it ain't about Fonnie. Oh, oh, the lynching wasn't just about the person that was hanging from the lynching tree. So now they're comparing Fonnie Willis trial to a lynching. See, they always want to go back to traumatic slave issues. They want to go back to those type of things that happened to black folks. Something that's so traumatic as a lynching. If you want to compare Fonnie Willis trial to a lynching? The lynching was a message to the community to let us know that there go you if you don't stay in your place. And some of y'all black folks, when you see us being lynched, you think it's some legitimacy to you. You think we've done something because you're chasing the phantom. So this woman did not have a relationship with one of her top prosecutors? She did not do that. She did not have a relationship with one of her top prosecutors on the biggest case of her life. The make or break case. She did not do that. Facts, Bella. You think that we and can do something to always be included. You know, that thing was racist because they were trying to act like black women can't have cash on them. That she wasn't on. It wasn't trying to excuse her from this case because she has cash. They're trying to excuse her from this case because she is sleeping with one of the top prosecutors and he's being paid ex exorbitant amounts of money for this case as a compared as compared to the other people that's working this case. I think it's a five hundred and fifty thousand dollar difference, at over half a million dollar difference of what she what she got her boo paid. That's why, not because she's black. I know black women y'all carry cash in some strange places and they can tell it on itself got it it's hotter <laughs> than fish grease he's telling it on itself look <laughs> again look at bt's face we're gonna go back to me man y'all y'all get the gist of that we're finding again i got another reaction from bt in just a second but when it come down to finding willis bro i don't care that they were sleeping together but the optics don't look good <clears throat> Like BT was just saying, this is the biggest case of your life. You just sat in that seat as the Fulton County DA. And let me tell you something, Fulton County is the most important county in Georgia. It houses Atlanta, Atlanta Metro, and it's a large county in and of itself. So she is the DA of one of the top, of the top county in one of the biggest cities, most important cities in America. She's that, she had a position of power not one of those positions of influence she legitimately had a position of power she could make decisions and get things done that's the whole premise of this um of having this trump case she's trying to cater for trying to have a case for trump for voter fraud and all that shit when the man lost do y'all know how much of the taxpayer dollars in fulton county is being wasted on trying to prosecute trump and that's why they punch back and they punch back hard. You know what? Not only are we going to get you on something, this isn't even criminal. It just doesn't look right. It's not going to sit right in the court of public opinion. It's definitely not going to sit right in the actual court because it's a conflict of interest. You sleep with one of the top prosecutors, but you're the, the, the top prosecutor is coming from your office. 
So somebody that works from you, you're sleeping with. So there, you are low key dictating how that case is going to go. That's why it doesn't look right. That's why it's not right. You can't do that under the law. You can't have that undue influence and especially playing this man an additional amount of money than the other prosecutors. And both of them know that shit. Y'all don't understand fucking Donald J. Trump. I was telling BT this. I reminded him of this. This is the same man had no political affiliation, told people back in the late 80s, early 90s on national TV, if I ever ran, I would run Republican, blah, 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 for this, that, that reason. And this is how I'm going to do it. Fast forward 30, 40 years, he runs, he wins. Nobody can believe it because he's just a TV show. He's a celebrity. That's what y'all like. That's what we vote for all the time. They're a celebrity. So the same way white America sees Donald Trump is the same way that these black churches are doing with these black women. The support is blind a lot of times. So when we screaming about how unfair it is, you got to understand how deep that man pockets. Back to what I was saying, what I reminded BT was Donald Trump has gone bankrupt like 14 times. If he's gone bankrupt 14 times and can win the presidency, that means he bounced back 15. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! Black folks got to get out this emotional shit. We'll bitch, moan, cry, complain, swear before God and the gates of heaven because we feel like it. Or because God told me. God gave me a vision. I had a dream that everything is going to go the way we want it to. And when that shit don't happen, the first person we blame is the spooky white man. You overlook the actions that you took. And again, Kofa is woke and he woke, woke, woke. Oh, I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm blacker than black. And I'm black, oh, y'all. And I'm black, 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 Woke for the sun got up. But I ain't no damn fool. We got to stop this shit. But well, we just think we can do whatever the fuck we want to do. Get caught and still supposed to be able to walk. And mind you. It looking like she perjured herself. She's also the DA again of the county. So she's the one that brought forth that YSL case. With Young Thug and all them. Because it is. Call it what you want to. They can pretend bob and weave all it's a game when you know you know the conversations have been had bodies have been dropped dope has been so it's a bunch of shit has jumped off and i live here in the city but i'm not finna walk in fear that shit has fucked up the community as well which y'all niggas watching on tv talking about bmf and shit i was in georgia at the time Everybody done had a little piece here and there, but now this YSL got a RICO case that Fonnie Willis's office is heading as the DEA of Fulton County. So if she perjured herself on this uh, on this current case, that could warrant suspension, getting her license snatched. It's not a joke. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this shit, bro. It's not a joke. I may have laughed, talk a little bit of shit, but when it boiled down to it, she gets removed as DA. That case is going to go out. That Trump case is going to go out. That Trump case goes out. That YSL case can come right behind it. That YSL case comes out. You got the wrong niggas in the street. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! And I'm not saying that everybody accused or just sitting on the docket for that YSL case. I'm not saying all them brothers are guilty. But what I do know is what the fuck I do know. That YSL case go left. You're going to have the wrong niggas in the city of Atlanta. Knocks down another three ball. This guy is hotter than fish grease here. Nod, nod, wink, wink. If y'all get what the fuck I'm saying. So this whole finding Willis case where her potentially perjuring herself. That again can get a suspension, her license snatched, 
depending on how, how hard they want to push it. Don't believe me? Boo, 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 wait, it gets worse. <laughs> Happens all the fucking time. Let's keep on going. Let me get to y'all comments re- real quick. Um, everybody just laughing at these pandering ass preachers, man. I appreciate that, Corey Joe. Uh, Corey Joe just dropped the Growth Talk uh, store. I got to get some t-shirts ready for the spring and the summer. Mostly just hoodies up there. Got the coffee mug as well. So y'all make sure y'all go hit the link and just check out the merch uh, in the store on YouTube. Uh, Jay Gray says, fuck you talk about. <laughs> Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! <laughs> Blaze says, how the hell does he know that? Pastor Freak Nasty. Exactly, bro. I told you, telling on himself. Jay Gray back with it. He says, she finally get her nigga wake up call. Yep, a lot of them are, bro. Blaze right back. He says, I wasn't surprised when Trump won. This is America after all. Big facts. BT says, Kofa so woke, he he played the drop two times. <laughs> Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! Oh, Alexander X in the building. Please, uh, peace, good brother. Getting tongue-tied laughing at BT. Hit the button twice on accident, man. BT right back. He says, I was rocking with Funny, Funny with the YSL case. That's why I'm so tight. She got caught up in this nonsense. Big facts, bro. And it was a lot of people. I'll, I'll come back there in a second. Uh, Malika says, Fonnie Willis forgot that her seat of power was given to her by the same white power structure that allows her to be DA and create the laws that run this country. Big facts, bro. And the same white power structure we're going to try to frame like the, like the pastors did and say, oh, they just don't like her because she's a black woman and she's doing this. And they're going to go down that rabbit hole. But you're right. But let me get back to BT's comment. I was rocking with Fani with that YSL case. That's why I'm so tight. She got caught up in this nonsense. Big facts. So it's a lot of people that was like, oh, shit, finally, somebody's doing something to try to clean up this case. Y'all have to understand YSL is a organization, street organization, but it's a lot of young cats involved in that. So some of these car break ins in Atlanta, pistols getting stolen, shit like that. It's bigger than what you fucking think. And again, when I volunteer with these young men and we have these conversations, when you pay a little bit of attention to the news, when you know a young man that got murked, when you know a young man that got locked up and motherfuckers start talking, you start piecing it together. Once again, it was a lot of people that was happy. However, there were a lot of people that were against Fonnie, and most of the ones I saw were black women. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! She thinks she's better than somebody. She's just trying to lock up black men, and this is where that woke shit gets skewed. Y'all support the wrong brothers. These cats out here running the street, it's not a political persecution. The police are doing their actual fucking job. They locking up fucking criminals. But y'all want to play the white supremacy, woe was me, my people built the country, slavery, black card, when it's some street shit. When it's an average day-to-day brother going through something, child support. When he helps out a sister, gets his head blown off, gets fucked up, get put in the hospital, ain't nobody there for him. We woke until it's time to be. Then we take a long ass nap. That'll preach. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! We woke. We'll talk this black, pro-black shit until it's time to be. This is why these pastors know they can get up there and play on y'all emotions. <sighs> Let me keep on going, man. This shit got me, it got me retight. Let me keep going. Uh, Jay Gray says, Kofa got me dying with these faces he making after playing that because <laughs> I'm black, y'all. <laughs> Look, bro. This... <sighs> Again, we woke until it's time to be. Blaze says she clearly forgot she's a small figure in their world. Big facts. Kofa say, uh, Corey says Kofa is a comedian incognito. I'll be clowning sometime, man. Corey Joe says, thanks for hitting the like button. I appreciate it. But again, we'll frame that woke shit all the time until it's time to actually apply it to doing right by each other. But then we call this support for a sister. We supposed to support this sister that just got some dick that she shouldn't have got. We supporting this brother that got some pussy that he shouldn't have got. I ain't mad at him though. He got some feel better pussy. Got it! It's hotter 
in fish grease. His old lady cheated. His boss want to throw him a bag and give him a promotion and throw him some ass. Why would I be mad at that? Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! But just like y'all want to hold black men in positions of power, because, you know, we how the fuck do we square that? We either, we either broke and dusty ass niggas or we in these positions of power and we using our power to our advantage. Which one we going to go with? Which lie we going to go with? But anyway... Can't be mad at him, but find a need to be held accountable because she's the boss in this situation. Let's keep on going. I appreciate you letting me use your content, BT. We're not done yet because, again, but, 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 but wait, it gets worse. these corporate city girls. Sis almost takes the cake. This next one, Tiffany Henyard, up in Illinois, she almost takes the cake. Well, more controversy is brewing in South Suburban Dalton. So last night, police shut down two popular bars. One trustee says the reason? Because they're not financially supporting Dalton's mayor, Tiffany Henyard. Our Dane Placco has more. Is it coincidence or retaliation? Both of the Dalton bars that were raided and shut down last night, we visited the day before as part of our ongoing investigation into allegations of political corruption in Dalton. They just rushed in here, put police at the front of the door like they was doing a raid on the drug house or something. A team of Dalton police officers raided and shut down Pablo's Bar and Cafe and Rinky's Bar and Cafe, both located on Sibley about a block apart. Everything going peacefully, nothing going on. It's like 10 police cars came in and they start pushing customers from here. And he said, if you don't leave, we're gonna lock you up. Employees and owners say it's part of an ongoing campaign of harassment by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. That is- It's so much to this sister. We'll see in the next video. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. The feds is literally looking at her. She has done so much in this small suburban town outside of Chicago. She is literally doing what the full free fuck what she wants to do. Let's keep on going. Costing jobs and money. Their me. business licenses have been stripped by Dalton, but they've continued to operate with a state license. I have like over 23 employees. They work from the local township. Now, end of the day, all the employees, they're going to lose them job. It's ridiculous. We all have mouths to feed. We all have kids. <laughs> uh, they're not giving us no explanation. On Monday, we visited both Rinkies and Pablo's to ask about allegations. Their licenses were being held up for political reasons. Then last evening, we broke the story that FBI agents have questioned at least a half dozen people, including business owners, a former Dalton employee, and an elected official as part of an investigation into Mayor Henyard. Less than two hours after our story aired, police raided the two bars. Someone seen. <sighs> Y'all hear this shit? The news goes toss to these people. They get raided about it. She's sick. She, I guess, sicked her dogs on these hardworking people. Hood or not, I don't care. These people get up every day, go to work to feed their family, and the mayor of the city, Black Girl Magic, is sicking the police on them because they wouldn't donate to her campaign. Let's keep on going. You go in there, and then two hours after your story airs, that police are at both of these establishments. Dalton trustee Tammy Brown says she believes the raids are meant to send a warning to others not to talk. And she believes there's a reason so many Dalton businesses are having trouble getting their licenses renewed. I'm sure that they were asked to donate, make a donation, and most likely they didn't make a donation. So you don't get a chance to stay open if you don't pay, pay the Queen's ransom. Now, tomorrow evening, there will be a special public meeting of the trustees who are opposed to the mayor, in which they plan to take action on the village's finances, getting access to Village Hall. They've been locked out and welcoming that investigation by federal agencies. Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. This bitch on some mob shit. She literally has the police in her pocket. And this is how she started out. 
She's also uh, BT. If you're still in here, I know. Oh yeah, BT still in here. He said he's gonna send me an invoice <laughs> for using his content. I got you, brother. The, the check is in the mail. The check is in the mail. One more time, real quick. Uh, salute the brother, International Choir Storm in the building. Got it. Hotter than fish grease. He says, I seriously need a vacation. Hold up, hold up, Choir Storm. Ba, 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 wait, it gets worse. Stick around, brother. It really does get worse. This is why I said this is like she almost takes the cake. Tiffany Henyard almost takes the cake. So she is the mayor and like the the county or the city commissioner or something. She handles something with the finances. Sis has done so much. She has had the police hand out $500 tickets. You know how you pull up to the little shopping center, you run the little Caesars, get your hot and ready. So you park right there in the fire lane. You might be there two minutes. They got police handing out $500 tickets to, to 50 year old women, old, old women, older than that. And if they can't pay it, then the fine doubles. When she first got the position as mayor, I think the city had a overhaul of like $2 million. She has run the city into a deficit of $5 million. Go figure that shit. So when it's corruption and stuff like this in these small, and then she calls her herself the super mayor. She loved doing TikTok videos, all this extra shit, right? She put a spotlight on herself. But again, this is what happened when you live in that gangster lifestyle. I'm not going to keep beating up on this point right here with the with the businesses shutting down. But again, this is a prominent black woman in a position. I got one more video about her real quick. But let me keep on sliding through these comments. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Brother Malika says, woke equals delusion, laziness, feminism, fake diversity, and pseudo inclusion. Got it! Hotter <laughs> than fish grease! That is big facts, uh, Brother Malika. Quiet Storm says, I have no sympathy for the residents of Dalton. They voted for this trash. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! JT, what is you saying? All your comments coming up blank. This must be the face you're making, bro. Look, JT ain't even got no damn words. Lord have mercy. Let me see. Uh, unless y'all time JT out. Do y'all do something to JT uh, post? Mo on the go in the building. What's going on, sis? You go, girl. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. Mo says, what is going on? We are talking about these corporate city girls. We got Fonnie Willis in the news, Tiffany Henyard. We got sister uh, Natalie Hall. Who else? Marilyn Mosby. What's the other lady name? Sonia uh, McKnight. The list goes on. And these are the ones I could figure out to stuff in here tonight. I knew I was going to go over an hour. And I am over an hour. I knew I was going to go over an, an hour tonight. Let's keep on going. Uh, let me get to these comments where we at, where we at. Corey Joe says, that's their last raid. Repo them patrol cars. Nah, bro. She pumping money. She paying the, some of the police. It's private security. So they ain't going to say shit. And again, this is where black men be fucking up. Because he got a family to feed, right? So you put him in a position where he either low-key support this shit or he he become a whistleblower and he may not make it home when he's out there on the beat. Please don't take it as a joke. My dad had a friend who worked for the feds and he didn't make it home. When he was new on the team, he found out his team was um, not just arresting drug dealers, but they were ripping them off as well. He wasn't down with the shit. One raid comes up, they're supposed to go on. They're supposed to, he's supposed to be the first one in the door around back not knowing they got this fake call or whatever. Um, but no, no, they were going to somebody's house they knew had booby traps around there for whatever reason, like on some training day shit. They were gonna send him through the door first, let the booby trap shotgun go off and kill him. For whatever reason, he didn't go through the door. Something went left, something happened. So when everything, all the dust settled, he realized they were sending them, they, was, they were sending him around that back door to his death turning his shield left the force living off his basic retirement now so it happens i say all that to say now these policemen police officers women or men are in this position to do what the mayor wants and some of them probably stupidly blindly following her but there's some that are questioning that shit but the ones that are questioning it what do they do this is their profession dalton's a small town small city it's outside of Chicago. It's only so much money they're gonna have, which leads me to believe 
that they had some pretty decent mayors leading up to Tiffany Henry. If she comes in and they have a $2 million windfall of cash still there when she takes over the mayorship and now they got a $5 million deficit. So you had solid mayor, you had you had solid leadership, but you're so wokeity woke, woke, woke. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm blacker than black. And I'm black, y'all. I'm blacker than black, blacker than black, black. I'm blacker than black, yo. Because I'm black and I'm black. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. You so wokeity woke woke. You had to vote. It's a black woman. Let's support her. Like Quiet Storm just said, I don't even feel bad for y'all ass. You voted for this trash. Yeah, I'm calling her trash. When you can do that, fire people, cost people their living, I don't feel sorry for you either. But again, black folks, this is how we vote. We support the sisters. You, when, when the last time you heard support brothers? Outside of YouTube, outside of YouTube in the red pill, manosphere, men-centric content space. When is the last time you heard support brothers? Don't worry, I'll wait. Let me get back to y'all comments. So yeah, Mo, I know I went off on a little tangent right there. Y'all got a mini, uh, y'all got a mini rant, but that's what's going on. That's what we was talking about. Uh, where we at? Blaze says Tiffany Henry was running Dalton like the goddamn Carter from New Jersey City. <laughs> Throw her ass in six by eight for twenty with Big Wookie and let her swap <laughs> crumb cakes for cigarettes. You get served what you deserve. If only, bro. But we'll see what happens when these feds get through shaking her down. Brother Malika says, Dalton City Mayor is doing the devil's work. She is a modern day supervillain. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! <laughs> Quiet Storm says, what the hell is going on with the mods? What are y'all doing? Uh, KP says, bang, bang, Keisha gang. Who's silencing each other, man? Y'all please don't do that. Somebody probably hit the wrong button because I know... I <laughs> I think I removed somebody from somebody's chat at one time uh, when I became a new mod. This was months ago, and I, I didn't know how to undo that shit. That was my bad to whoever I did that to. I apologize again. But y'all, y'all please leave each other alone if y'all got wrenches. I'm going to have to snatch them bitches back. Uh, let me see. Jay Gray says, the community, la la, going to get locked up real soon. Big facts. BT says, she's the su yeah, she's the city supervisor and the mayor. Horrible, man. Horrible. Poo Man says the officer had 300 hours of overtime. Knocks down another three ball. This guy is hotter than fish grease here. That man's bank account was hotter than fish grease. Again, misuse of city funds. I could see a, a, a windfall of allegations coming. I haven't even got into the one. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. We're going to get back to the content in a second. I'm going to get through some of y'all comments. Jay Gray says, who she thinks she is with that lace front over her eye, Aaliyah? Not even close. No, oh, let me see. Malika says, uh oh, wow. Uh, damn. Come on, comment. My cursor tripping. Malika says, wow, a deficit of $5 million. Something is wrong with arithmetic. She has plunged that shit into the ground, bro. Pooh man says the judge who uh the judge who shot her boyfriend. Yep, we going I told you, bro. Ba, 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 wait, it gets worse. Yeah, uh, we get into it, Pooh. Uh Mo says stranger than fiction. This is all some bad YSL. I mean uh YSL talking about YSL. This is a bad SNL skit. Bad uh Chappelle skit. I would say bad, but this is just a Tyler Perry movie. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! Uh, Quiet Storm says, why was Pooh Man and Jay Gray blocked and unblocked several times? I don't know. JT was, uh, JT had commented and his comments were coming up blank. I don't know what happened. If somebody hit the wrong button, man, just admit it and apologize. Damn it, I did it too. When I had a new wrench, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I hit the wrong goddamn button. So y'all please don't be beating up on each other. You know, we part of the growth family. So let's keep on going. KP says, repo the police cars too. Man, look, this bitch on one. BT says, damn, that's wild. Corey Joe says, no, they really haven't paid the bill 
on the patrol cars pink book lessons and odg dropping oh that's right that's right you know who been going in brother bt hand down man down mama there goes that man bt really been going in i know he may not have he of course he got a bigger channel than me but he may not have the biggest of channel but he has been doing excellent work i'm gonna give my brother his cigars while he can smoke them He's been doing excellent work talking about Tiffany Henry and keeping everybody up to date. I was like, bro, you talk about, uh, damn, what did I tell you, BT? I said, you talk about Tiffany Henry the way that somebody talks about somebody else like every day. But she keeps giving you fucking ammo. This bitch is wild. Corey Joe says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they really are reporting the police cars. I forgot she didn't pay the bill. Pooh Man says he was blocked. I didn't do it, Pooh. I don't know who did, but you're back. Uh, let's see. Mo says, yeah, what is going on with it? Look, man. Everybody's speaking. Everybody's speaking. Uh, let me see. Mo says, how is this not national news? It is in some places, but I've, I've seen more of it here on um, on YouTube and social media. I think people are taking it as a joke, but it's not. Again, the feds are involved. The whole thing with Fonnie Willis, the only reason that's national news is um, uh, let me see. Bella Ring said they keep playing ads every three minutes. I probably hit the wrong button setting this up. I'm out of practice. I apologize, Bella. I apologize, all y'all. But I will correct it on the next one. I apologize. But yeah, Mo, it's probably not making national news the same reason it wouldn't make national news if I was just down here in Atlanta. There's no Trump involved. There's no big salaciousness attached to it again. And it's black women. So this whole black girl rocks like y'all have to understand when white people want to use that to support y'all and look like, hey, I'm not racist. This is why you have uh, JP Morgan offering, you know, these minority loans for black female owned, minority owned black women businesses. I keep saying black women because I know the difference. Minority owned businesses, we think is black. So we always hear from the sisters about this, this, that, and the third, but we know that money is going to go to other minorities, including white women. Because women are by themselves as their own category are considered minorities. So when the sisters are celebrating in our face, that's what pisses off black men. That's what we're walking the fuck away. Because so many of y'all don't see the goddamn play. But again, to Mo's point, to answer your question, it's not national news. Again, because it's a black woman. And it's a little ass town. Maybe if it was Chicago, but it's just far enough outside where it's not national news. It's, it just is what it is. Um, and BT says Mo was on Fox News not too long ago, and I think um, and BT's right, but I I think what Mo is getting at is like, why aren't we hearing this on a regular basis? Why aren't we hearing this on a regular basis with all this stuff going on? It'll hit the news, then it's out of the news. You're bad. The only reason Marilyn Mosby is making these rounds in the news that I'm seeing is because of the whole Freddie Gray situation back during the pandemic. And she was the she was the fucking DA. Got it! Hotter than fish grease. Another position of power. She was the fucking DA at the time. So now they want to try to publicly embarrass this sister. But at the same time, she did her share of dirt too. Um, y'all keep rolling with the comments, man. Y'all keep rolling. Let's go ahead and get back to the content. Got one more from Brother BT. What's going on, y'all, man? So we have to go back and discuss once again Tiffany Henry, the Superman. Once again. She is now being investigated by the FBI. Yes, the FBI, the feds is on Tiffany Henyard bumper. So in this video, I'm gonna do a reaction to Fox 32 News out in Chicago. And after that, I give you guys my thoughts and opinions about this because this is really long overdue. Um, for what I'm gathering, they are investigating Tiffany Henyard because of the overuse of police funds, right? But that's a start because there's so many other things they need to investigate Tiffany Henyard about. Not to mention, I'm working on another video about how Tiffany Henyard possibly, allegedly, has somebody house shot up in the drive-by. That Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Praise the Most High. God bless us all. I told y'all, Tiffany Henyard is the gift that keeps on giving. And BT has been wearing her ass out. And yes, you did hear that right. She is allegedly connected to somebody's house getting sprayed up in a fucking drive-by. But let's continue. And once again, but, 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 but wait, it gets worse. It was against her. Yeah, Tiffany Henyard is definitely 
a thug <laughs> when it comes to these politics. And this is crazy. But before we get into this video, man, here on Broken Traditions, we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. Stupid, if you're into that kind of content, you have that kind of mindset, please hit subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, let's get to this video from Fox 32 News. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check yeah, this video out in its entirety. Oh. All right, let's go. Pause it real quick. Forgot sister Messi in the building. You go, girl. I appreciate you stopping in, good sister. You was cooking earlier as normal. And thank you for the $5 super chat with the pair character lifting some weight saying, keep it up. And yes, yes, back to your comments. Look, Miss Michonne be throwing shade at me all the time. She be fucking with me. But yes, look who's working. I am, I am. We're going we gonna to get back to some regular scheduled content soon enough, sis. I promise you. Let me slide myself over here. Let's keep on going with B Brother BT. Fox 32 has information indicating the FBI has launched an investigation into controversial Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Dane Placco has been following allegations of her misspending and joins us now with an update. Dane. Yeah, we've been reporting for nearly two years on allegations of corruption surrounding Henyard in her capacity as Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township uh, Supervisor. And now we've learned from multiple up, sources Mark? that federal agents are in fact interviewing witnesses as part of a possible investigation that may or may not result in charges. Did the FBI agents you talked to seem serious about yes, serious, very serious. concerns? Very, very serious. Very. Uh, Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in South Suburban Dalton and says he went to the FBI several months ago, frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner says he's been harassed and his business raided and shut down by Dalton police, he believes because he refused to make a donation to a civic event sponsored by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Now, this man right here who can't get his business license renewed is basically accusing that Tiffany Henyard is blocking it because he wouldn't support and give donations to her. That is straight. That is so corrupt. If that's true, that is so right. corrupt. <laughs> I'm pause it. I told BT. Let me bring this up. I told BT. I said he talk about Tiffany Henyard like Theo talk about Kendra G. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. <laughs> oh. oh shit. And he is proving me right because I know he working on something else. And he talked about another video he hadn't even damn released yet. But yeah, BT on on Ken, on uh, Tiffany Hen, your neck, like Theo be on Kendra G. Neck. <laughs> Let's keep on going. And I talked to um, a couple of agents and I explained them what was going on. I gave them all my paperwork to show them what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they was investigating and they would be in touch with me. Gardner is one of six people okay. who confirmed to Fox 32 that they've been interviewed by the FBI, Who's ranging from Dalton business owners to a former village employee and at least one public official. And we've learned the FBI has been using electronic surveillance as part of its investigation. Agents are asking questions about Henyard's alleged use of taxpayer dollars and resources, including massive spending on out-of-town trips, hundreds of thousands of dollars in police overtime for her personal security detail, using public employees and tax dollars for personal benefit, and holding up licenses to certain businesses like this Dalton restaurant. I've heard rumors that say, hey, I'm on the wrong team. Dwayne Wood has been trying wow. to renew the business license for his restaurant for nearly a year. While he has not talked to the FBI, he believes he can't get approved because he's provided catering to several Dalton trustees who are engaged in a political fight with Henyard. I so the trustees is getting food from this man's kitchen. And now this man can't get his business license renewed. All around. <laughs> Yo, the level of corruption that this lady is involved with is insane. Because you fed somebody, you can't get your business license renewed. And now they're saying that because he's on, quote unquote, the wrong team. I mean, we always talk about we need to support black owned businesses. We have two black owned businesses that's being shut out or shut down because they're not supporting a slash supervisor. Who does she think she is? Uh, after hearing those two stories, man, I'm glad that the feds is on her bumper. Seriously. I think. And it sounds it sounds fucked up that we're celebrating, you know, the feds looking into a, a black politician. 
But when you get in there and you start moving like the white people, the white man that you've always complained about, and you're literally doing this to people that look like you, I think Mo said the citizens are black. So that's probably another reason why that they this isn't national news like it, it normally isn't. And these are black citizens that apparently are doing well for themselves. Business owners, day-to-day -day people. It's not a whole bunch of salaciousness to it, like a like the violence of Chicago and things like that, where they can plaster and see, see, look what these niggas act like. They can't do that apparently with the city of Dalton. You just got some good, quiet, hard working people, and here her here she come screwing these people over out of their businesses, out of their money, misusing taxpayer dollars, misusing city funds. It's rare where you where you have a mayor that can come into a situation that has a av readily available funds to that amount of the $2 million, I believe it was. And then you run through that plus some more and you're not paying the bills on the cars, on the police cars, and they're getting ready to like, I didn't even know you could repo police cars. But I remember when BT first started talking about this, I know he was paying attention, then he really started getting on it. But I'm paying attention, listening to stuff online, well, reading stuff online, and people are, again, doing the same thing we just saw with the preachers doing with Fonnie Willis, talking about, oh, they're just, they're just attacking her because she's a black woman and y'all don't like to see us. Shit, go ahead, sis, do it, do it, do it. And she's stealing from her own goddamn people. But she can throw on some eyelashes, a wig, do a couple of TikTok dances, like some for real, some for real, for real. There's powerful niggardry at work here. And it like puts a spell on our people. And everybody's all for it and supports that shit. Now she done put a fucking hit out on somebody, allegedly. But it's a fucking problem when the feds come to your small ass town or city. This ain't Chicago. This ain't Atlanta we talking about, y'all. This ain't Baltimore. This is fucking Dalton, Illinois. And the feds got to show up. Something's wrong. Let's keep on going. I've been just targeted because of my association affiliation with a certain group of people. You know, the I had trustees. the trustees. I've, I've cooked for the trustees. And <laughs> so since he cooked for the <laughs> trustees, you, he can't get his business license renewed. That is... Damn. In a lawsuit filed by a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges their business license has been held up because, quote, George's towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard's political campaign. Y'all stupid. Wow. So George Towing <laughs> Company, another black-owned company, because I remember doing a video on this, refusal to support or contribute to a political campaign. So it was basically us versus them. There's, there's no working with other people who may not support me. If you don't, if you don't ride with me, you're gonna die. Either you ride with us or you die. Get That's down what like she's doing. You get down and lay down like a goddamn Benny Siegel. This, this is what she's lining up in this little ass town. Let's keep on going. Either you ride with us or you collide with us. That's what it looked like. That's what I meant. Ride or collide. And you ain't riding with her, you colliding. And I guess that's why you got all these people supporting her doing these TikTok dances because you want to be on the good graces of Tiffany Henry. That's crazy. In a statement, Dalton trustee Jason House reacted to the news of the FBI's involvement. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being spent. Our residents deserve this level of financial transparency. We reached out to the FBI, which said it is policy for the agency not to comment on the nature, existence, or non-existence of any investigation that may be occurring. All right, so you see, I'm, I'm bringing back on me. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna overuse BT. I want, I want to use some of his, uh, some more of his content at a later date. But y'all see what the fuck I'm talking about? These corporate city girls. And I've said it here, I've said it a thousand times. I'm gonna get back to y'all comments in a second. I said it a thousand times. Everything y'all have said about black men is true about black women times two. And they've been getting away with it twice as fucking long. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! If it wasn't for social media, if it wasn't for, I guarantee you, other black women, because I guarantee you, other black women got sick of these women beforehand, before any man did and decided to do something. 
Because again, when we say something, we're misogynists, we hate women. So a lot of times it's not even a fear of black women. We're just quiet about the shit. We're just like, fuck it, what can I do? Like literally asking the question, what can I do? And a black woman to just pick up the phone and go the fuck off. And now it's just back and forth. So somebody dropped a dime on her ass and I guarantee you it was somebody that looked like her. This again is not a game. The feds are involved. It's not a game with Fonnie Willis taking the stand and potentially losing her license or whatever hefty fine or suspension. That is going to derail the YSL case. Now we got more dangerous people back out here in the city streets of Atlanta. It's a lot of stuff riding on this. Even though we laugh about it, we make the memes, the jokes, he he ha ha, even me. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. It's a lot riding on a lot of this stuff. And this is two different places, y'all. This Georgia and this Illinois. Let me get to y'all comments because Michonne been going in here acting a damn fool. She just came in here, put her feet all on my goddamn couch. <laughs> Messi says, the real question is what art they investigated her for? Said this bitch won't stop. Uh, Brother Alex says she got the job because she basically intimidated her opponent. That's crazy as hell. If it go back that damn far, that's crazy. Mo says this is a Tubi movie. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! And let me see if sister, uh, let me scroll back up. Mona D is in the building. What is going on, sis? She says, hey, Kofa and everyone. You go, girl! <laughs> Had to scroll back up, Mona. I was, I was looking for your comment, and then I lost it, and then I started, you know, I went left. Uh, let me see where we at, where we at. I'm going to pick up, like, in the middle somewhere. Miss Michonne says the station WGN is on it, but they aren't that big of a channel. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? I grew up on WGN. It reaches all the way down here to Alabama, and I used to watch the White Sox and the Cubs game with my granddaddy when I was little. So that's how I used to watch Bozo the Clown. I don't know if anybody knows about that, but WGN has a pretty far reach, but if you're not really looking for it you're going to overlook it with your local channels if you elsewhere but wgn got a strong footprint down here down in alabama i think yep alabama and georgia so i know about bozo i know about a, a, a couple of other chicago things i probably shouldn't know about but due to wgn i was on game so michonne is right they're not that big of a channel but when they show up they do uh, let me keep on going. Blaze says, bet Tiffany paying for that grade A would work too. She probably is. Uh, and this is Mo's comment. And the citizens are black. Probably another reason why, again, they're not covering it all. BT says, damn, I got the same sweater. I look like Kofa with a white tee. <laughs> Talking about, oh boy, that was on the screen with the interview. Uh, let me keep on going. What we see? Look, and his Keisha from New Jack City Voice Blaze says, rock a bye, baby. Someone hog tie this unruly warthog and get her out of office. Bruh, the feds are going to have to do it because the citizens can't seem to. Uh, Messy back at it. She says, y'all, <laughs> y'all the divesters blame the, uh, blame the black man for Tiff being investigated. Malika says, <laughs> Messy stupid. <laughs> Malika says, that's extortion. Big facts. Um, look, man, <laughs> Michonne says they should put Trump's people on her case. You might be on to something. You go, girl. <laughs> you might be on to something. Pooh Man says Fed charges are coming. They already have to have everything they need to charge. Otherwise, there will be no news coverage. Big facts. I think Pooh, you said that. Or Quiet Storm said it earlier. They just let her stack up. They just let her run up the tab and do what the fuck she want. They just let her do it. So when they come with the receipts, they come with the receipts and the bracelets. She can keep making all the TikTok dances she want to. She's going to fuck around and find out. Brother Quiet Storm says, Black women was the whistleblower of Fani. Black women was the whistleblower of Tiff. And yep, you guessed it. Black women was the whistleblower of Claudine Gay. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! <laughs> BT says, damn, Quiet Storm. Come through with it. Uh, let me see. Look, <laughs> now y'all both trolling me. Y'all teaming up on me, Q. Uh, Quiet Storm, y'all teaming up on me, QS. He says, broken traditions, you definitely need to send Copa an invoice. God damn, bro. Uh, let me see. Blaze says, BT is being polite and professional about it. But in his mind, he's probably thinking it's about damn time someone damn, somebody ran down on this hoe. 
Look, he's been very professional with his outtake on Tiffany Henry. Uh, let me keep on going. Let me keep on going. Where we at? Where we at? Uh, uh, Derek says she's really wasting money if she's leasing police cars. Most cities just buy them, then they modify them, then uh, after then they modify them after some time. That's big facts, bro. He says they sell them as, and then after the fact, they sell them as used cars. True. Very true. I'm almost caught up. Brother Cujo in the building. What's going on? Hand down, man down. Mama, there goes that man. Almost caught up. Jay Gray says, I wonder what Tiff going to look like when the feds come snatch her and that lace front. Jesus. Uh, Messi says, that hair is horrible. Always is, sis. I don't care how many times she switches. It's, all that money she's stealing and misusing, you would think. You would, you would really think that she would get some braids or some shit. DG says, not to mention she has a sex offender working for her. Damn, I forgot about that. Shit. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! Not to mention she has a sex offender working for her, going into people's homes as a code enforcement officer. Big facts, bro. I forgot about that one. This is just like Tiffany Henry has given so much content and I just really been sitting back, really enjoying BT's content on it. It's so much she, she has done. I forgot all about the sex offender she, she hired. That's spot on, DG. I forgot about that. Mr. Michonne says, I guarantee she will say it's racist when she gets arrested. You go, girl. <laughs> you already know what's coming. And look, BT says, Tiffany Henry just started a podcast too. I didn't Is see. this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's right. stupid. Boy, let me get back to the next content. So we done with Tiffany Henry. We are gonna circle back to another AT alien that BT mentioned in the first one. This is Miss Natalie Hall that cost the, the, the county of Fulton. I told you how big the county of Fulton is. They cost the, the county of Fulton a million dollars. Again, another well-educated, well-dressed professional. Chucks and pearls, I shop at Target instead of Walmart ass. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Fulton County Commissioner Natalie Hall took the stand again today, this time in her own defense. The District 4 Commissioner told the court her former chief of staff initiated all of the sex they had and reportedly told her he loved not only her, but her two sons and even her mother. Calvin Brock has filed an EEOC complaint against Hall and the Fulton County Board of Commissioners claiming sexual harassment, wrongful termination and back pay. Fox Size Angelique Proctor joins us from the federal courthouse. She has all the developments from court today. Angelique. Good afternoon, Christine. Commissioner Natalie Hall is still on the stand right now. She's basically telling the court that she had a close friendship with Calvin Brock, that that friendship uh, became a sexual relationship. But she says the two of them had planned to go public and that he was supposed to get another job. Fulton County Commissioner Natalie Hall, seen here with her mother, told the court her for Natalie Hall is the one in the blue. I don't want y'all to think that his brother was hitting this old lady. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! I had to make, make sure it was clear. Her mama is in the gray. The woman in question is in the blue. That's the dude. I mean, that's the chick that he was supposed to be hitting or didn't and end up leaving the job. But again, this is back in Atlanta. Let's keep on going. Former Chief of Staff Calvin Brock initiated all the sexual encounters the two of them had. That is important because Brock is suing Hall for sexual harassment, emotional distress, and wrongful termination. Commissioner Hall says after about a year on the job, the sporadic sex started. But the elected official says the relationship was more than just physical. She told the court Brock started sharing private details of his life with her and introduced her to his children. She even says Brock, who was a veteran, helped her youngest son get in the Navy. In fact, Commissioner Hall says the two of them decided jointly to continue the relationship, make it public, and they agreed that Brock would get another job. But at some point in 2020, during the pandemic, the romance went sour. 
and she began to question Brock's trust and loyalty to her. She told the court she noticed he was lying about little things and disrespecting her in front of her colleague, Jonesboro Mayor Danya Sartor. Brock claims Hall would not let him in the relationship. He says she became jealous about other women he was dating and even planted three tracking devices in his car to mock. Pause. Y'all heard that right. She put three tracking devices in this man's car. Now, this is where a little bit of the racism comes in, uh, Messi Michonne. They did not have to draw sis like that. Goddamn. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! They did not have to draw sis like that. My, my nephew, who's two, could have did a better job. This is some bull shit right here. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just me. I know the court drawings are always a little off. They look at it, but some of them shits be beautiful. This isn't one of them. This is not flattering at all. And it looked like they gave her blue contacts. Like, what? Who the fuck was in there drawing? This is not uh, what's your boy name with the with the fucking fro painting pretty trees. This ain't him. This ain't Tim Ross. Let's keep going his every move now keep in mind there is no jury so the judge in this case will make the final decision we are live at federal court angelique proctor Fox Five News. oh bring it back on me get another sister caught up and this is what i tell brothers all the time that bullshit women be on talking about i don't fuck with men i fuck with i mean i work with and this is why I tell the brothers, pay attention. She may not fuck with you, but she will fuck you. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! But apparently the brother didn't want, want to push back, ain't want the relationship, wasn't taking it serious. Whatever the case may be, he hit her ass with a lawsuit for his back pay, sexual harassment, and I think I pulled a slightly older clip because since then, this brother has won. Got it! fish grease yeah the state whoever they gonna get their little cut and he probably gonna end up with about 650 but that's enough to buy a nice ass house here in georgia straight cash and sit down for a couple of years sitting on the fucking rest of it all because this professional beautiful strong independent black woman got horny the shit y'all talk about black men black women have been doing times two for twice as long and getting away with it simply because they're women remember you heard that shit here let me get back to y'all comments we gonna keep on <laughs> keep on going uh uh <laughs> what the hell are y'all talking about wait a minute i missed something i missed something oh oh y'all still talking about uh tiffany uh, let me see. Look, BT said, okay, we stick with Natalie Hall. BT says, Natalie Hall looked like her nappy duck. <laughs> her nappy dugout is trash. Knocks down another three ball. This guy is hotter <laughs> than fish grease here. Is that why he sued her? He sued her for some bad bots. We're like, man, I'm finna get up out of this shit one way or the other. She gonna have to fire me or something. Uh, DG says, Tiffany will scream Walmart is racist. She definitely will. When her time come with the feds, Oh, they're going to throw everything at it. She's going to be up there at church next. She's going to be right up there at church, just like Fonny. Brother Blaze says, Kofa Mama got to have a life too. Yeah, I know, bro. I know. And look, B-Tits, <laughs> why they draw her like that? <laughs> Pooh says, I wasn't even thinking about that, Kofa. Why did you put that image into the universe? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the, uh, the mama... Yeah, I had to correct which uh, which one they were talking about, uh, Pooh. DG says she paid for the D. BT says dry coochie heifer. <laughs> Messi says she thinks that the, that's a great replica of her of the drawing. And <laughs> y'all just, y'all some mean motherfuckers. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! Y'all Negroes is Negroing. Nasty bitch. Oh, wrong one. Shit, my bad. There is powerful niggardry at work here. <laughs> Why is sis ashy? DG says, oh, that's not 
the DA, DA of ATL. I get confused with these political hoes. Look, bruh. She's a, but she's in ATL. That one that just left the screen, um, DG. She's in she's in Atlanta. She's another elected official. That's why they can't fire her. I think she's on some type of suspension, but they, they can't fire her. She's an elected official. Well, she just cost the county a million dollars because old boy sued and won. God damn. I kind of want to trade places with him. Got it! <laughs> Hotter than fish grease! <laughs> Mr. Michonne says, F her. She forcing a man to give her the grade D. <sighs> BT says, I work for a tracking device company and three tracking devices is wildly crazy. <laughs> Fool man laughing at the face says, God damn it, the face. <laughs> Mr. Michonne says she was strong. You go, girl! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit y'all stupid as hell oh uh, oh look he says raisin face ass heifer didn't look like one of the goddamn california raisins boy you stupid lady. Got it! hotter than fish grease oh. she looks like the it monster malika says these trifling ass black people love shitting where they eat it's loose loose sit it's a lose lose situation Especially when the black woman, black woman is in the power position. Big facts. Only reason old boy won because he grabbed his nuts and he sued. Uh, DG said her face is melting. BT said long neck, whack, dry coochie, slut couldn't keep a man, and got the county paying him a cool million. Look, BT, I guarantee you that lawsuit was in before you moved out the county, brother. So I think that's some of your damn money too. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. So we both just donated a huge ass super chat to this brother's cause. God damn. Um, look, and Mitch says, and they will reelect her. I wouldn't be surprised because they're going to make a big push. Y'all remember when um, when Keisha Lance Bottoms was the mayor of Atlanta and made the news because mayor had because Atlanta had a black female mayor and black girl magic and that's when Stacey Abrams was running for governor and all that shit and then finally won the uh, DA she won her seat in during um, Keisha Lance Bottoms term here in Atlanta so they have been beating us in the head with black girl magic all throughout Georgia so uh, you're right Michelle I wouldn't be surprised they reelected this here. they going they going to blame that man and as brother blaze says do I smell a whore? Let's keep on going. But like it says, Natalie Hall killed Chewbacca for that long ass weed. <laughs> Look, brother Mike has bad knees in the building. What's going on, bro? He says the chat is savage. And I did not bring this up to talk about this moment's looks. I brought it up to talk about her, lack of a better term, Michonne, her messiness. Her uh, Once again, another black woman shitting where she eats. Mr. Michonne says, there's so many. It really is. They That's why they looking crazy out here. Bruh, it, 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 it's so many. Let me see. Blaze says, Natalie Hall mask is coming to the spirit. <laughs> Halloween stores later this year, selling for $29.99 a pop. Got it! Hotter <laughs> than fish grease! BT says, Co don't forget, Kofa. She was at the church when they was praying for finding. Yeah, that's why... I that's right. When you pointed that out, I remember hearing the story. But then when you pointed out, told me her name, and then I called you today because I forgot her name, and I went back and looked. But yeah, so that was in the first video when BT zoomed in. That's Natalie Hall. So she can't get fired, elected official. She fired the dude that wouldn't sleep with her or whatever their relationship was. He sued the county, fucking won, and now he walking off with a million dollar worth of county money. Well, he may not be leaving with it, but. It got chopped up somewhere. He at least got 650, I'm sure. Let's keep on going, man. Um, appreciate that again, Corey Joe, dropping the merch link. Again, y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me, man. I promise you we're gonna we're gonna ease up soon. So that's Natalie. So let me see. We had Fonnie Willis, Tiffany Henry, Natalie Hall. This one's gonna be quick. This the little, this the little uh This is a little white girl, one of the YSL attorneys. 
another busy day in the Fulton County Court as more witnesses take the stand and District Attorney Fonnie Willis's disqualification hearing what her they father it. told the courts about the death threats against his daughter. But first at four, authorities have arrested a criminal defense attorney on charges she told a murder suspect to throw away evidence. Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us for Fox 5 News at 4. I'm Christine Spiro. Fox 5's Tyler Fingert has been working on this breaking story throughout the day today. Tyler is live now with more. What can you tell us? Talk to us, Tyler. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. One of the defendants who represents a, a defendant, excuse me, one of the attorneys representing a defendant in the YSL gang case is now in trouble herself. And I've learned that she faces a gang charge herself. This is Nicole Fegan. She was arrested today in Gwinnett County, stemming from a September 2022 deadly shooting in downtown Atlanta, not far from Centennial Olympic Park. Fegan is not accused of shooting anyone, but Atlanta police say investigators learned she contacted a suspect in the shooting and told him there was a warrant for his arrest. Investigators say she learned about that during a court hearing related to the shooting. Police say she told the suspect who they aren't identifying to dispose of his phone as police were going to arrest him. Detectives say Fegan was not representing the suspect that she called. She faces two charges, participation in criminal street gang activity and solicitation to tamper with evidence. Fegan represents YSL defendant Tinquarius Mender. Besides Vegan, police have also arrested Keontae Davis in this case. It's unclear if he's the suspect she called, but officers took him into custody last February after he was pulled over for rolling through a red light. This is body camera video of that arrest. Davis is accused of taking part in the deadly shooting, which went from an argument to gunfire. <laughs> One person was killed and another was injured in that case. He faces at least two charges, including murder. Back out here live, we have been working to get her arrest warrant, but so far we have not gotten that. We're going to continue to follow the story and bring you the very latest coming up on Fox 5 News at 5 and 6. We are live in downtown Atlanta this afternoon. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. What a major development there. Thanks so much. Bring it back on me. Uh-oh. It's wrong button. Back on me. <coughs> man, y'all are going in on the chat tonight, man. I appreciate y'all. Mr. Michonne says, not the snow bunny. Yes, ma'am. We had to. Oh, man. BT says, Kofa doing a marathon live stream tonight. I got to get it in because guess what? Got to go back out of town for work next week. I actually fly out in a couple of hours. I fly out in the morning. So I got to go in here and pack, but I'm going to still sit up here and cook with y'all. <clears throat> DG says some real shit. He said, Messy Michonne is right. She will get, uh, she will get reelected. Off of black votes, they say white politicians do it all the time as they vote for her. Big facts. Mona D just making the face. Cringe-worthy cringe, sir, sis. Very much so. Miss Michonne back here, she says, but white people do it too. Uh-oh, where my button? Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! <clears throat> Pooh Man says, oh, this is what Dennis Sperlin was talking about. Yeah, bro. Little white girl got caught up. And if y'all notice on the news report, she the reason why she's caught up is she wasn't giving advice to her client. She represents one of the clients or a couple of the clients in the YSL case. But the guy she called wasn't her client. He's involved in it too, but that wasn't her client. And she told him to dump evidence. She probably gave him a little bit more than what, they're, what the police were telling the news to tell us. See, when this stuff actually goes down, that paperwork is like this thick. So the little bit of things that are given to us from the news, is only a little bit that's given to the news by the police, if y'all get what I'm saying, or attorneys and stuff like that. All this information is just kind of piecemeal and shared, and then the news does with, with it what it will, and then it gives it to us. So again, being able to have seen some of these cases play out in real life, seen uh, some of the paperwork. The actual case itself is gonna be stacked up like this. By the time it reaches us, it's gonna be like this when we're getting this quick information on the news. So there's no telling, she didn't just uh, guarantee you. She did not just tell him, get rid of the gun. She probably told him how, where, who, who told her what she actually needed to do. It's okay, I've handled stuff like this before. And again, I wouldn't be surprised. This is just Kofa. 
since we're about who we had, Fonny, Natalie Hall, fucking men that they working with. Wouldn't be surprised a little Nicole Fegan was getting her cookies tossed up by Pookie. Nasty bitch. What happened to my chat? A bunch of shit just went away. Did I do that? I don't know. I hope not. Let's keep on going. Uh, where we at? Where we at? <clears throat> but again, you got a damn. All these are fucking damn near attorneys. So you got Fonnie Willis attorney, Nicole Fagan, the white girl attorney, um, Tiffany Henyard, mayor and city city supervisor. Then you have the I don't think she's the county is she the county commissioner? Um, Natalie Hall. All in the government, some in voted in positions. Corporate city girls, white girls included. This ain't the first time I'm hearing about a white girl getting caught up. We always see it with the teachers, right? That the white uh that the white teachers are always the ones be sleeping with the students until I guess recently, the last couple of months. We didn't seen a couple of black teachers as well. But y'all get my point. These professional, well to do, well educated, I shop at Target instead of Walmart assholes be some of the worst women to date and deal with. And again, we're supposed to just keep leaning on to this black girl magic. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. We got that out the way. Now let's go ahead and talk about Sister Marilyn. And before we do the finale, I'm going to get to y'all comments. But let's hear about this one. Again, another, this is Baltimore's DA. You're going to remember her from the Freddie Gray, Gray fame and the whole hot ass summer of, I believe it was uh, either 2020 or 21, when she made her bones. Breaking news. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, that breaking news right now. A verdict has been reached in former Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby's fraud trial. This was the first full day of deliberations for the jury after nearly two weeks of testimony. Prosecutors say she knowingly lied on mortgage documents for one of her Florida vacation homes. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren, he's been inside the court. He's been following this case for us from the very beginning. He joins us now live from Greenbelt. Mike. Denise Vick, a split verdict, guilty on one count of mortgage fraud related to her Longboat Key Florida combo, condo that she lied about a gift letter, a $5,000 gift that her ex-husband, the sitting Baltimore City Council President Nick Mosby, gave her to help her close on that Longboat Key property. Mosby just left the courthouse without comment. She was found not guilty uh, of mortgage fraud related to her other property, the first one that she she bought in Kissimmee, Florida, near Walt Disney World. She had family members with her here. She had supporters. Let's read them what's on the screen. Not guilty on count one, guilty on count two. Jurors deliberated for roughly eight hours and staying with WJZ, that's the name of the news station, for continuing coverage, and they're going to try to figure out some more. Let's keep on going with her here, but no comment from Mosby. We didn't hear from her after her perjury trial <coughs> either, and we're still waiting for comment from the U.S. Attorney's Office. They had tried this case. It is two years in the making. Actually, it's been more than two years since Marilyn Mosby was first indicted here in federal court. A uh, huge fall from grace for the one-time state's attorney for the city of Baltimore who served two terms to be convicted now of one count of mortgage fraud. She was convicted of perjury back in November for withdrawals that she made from her retirement fund uh, that were inappropriate. She blamed COVID-19, said she could have a hardship withdrawal. Well, jurors found that uh, that was a lie. So uh, she was found guilty then. She was found guilty today. It, it will be, remains to be seen what the sentence will be. So she got found guilty of fraud and of perjury. Again, Y'all have to understand how hefty a fine, and I don't just mean financial, hefty a fine that could be for an attorney. Let's keep on going. She just left court a few moments ago. She will not be sentenced today. Sentencing will be down the line. She faces uh, five years each for the perjury counts and 30 years in prison for the mortgage fraud count. Although with her history, it is highly unlikely she will serve a sentence anywhere near that long. Vic and Denise. Mike Helgen reporting for us live. Back on me. So again. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. This shit is serious, y'all. So she has counts of perjury. Five years potentially each 
30 years for the mortgage fraud. So you got a 30 year fixed mortgage, all that jazz. It depends on how much money you take out. Again, I think this for a house in Florida. All that is gonna play a factor. So I know you're saying, oh, well, she took out of her, um, her retirement fund. <clears throat> you have to understand when you take out money out of your re retirement fund, your 401k, certain stipulations apply for certain reasons. And when, if you do it for a hardship, you have to show like medical paperwork. Hey, I can't keep up with these medical bills. This is why I need the money. This is why I need to take her out early for some, depending on the type of 401k you have. So when you submit that document, okay, cool, you can have the money. If you can't do that, if you can't prove this is why I'm taking out the money, which it sounds like that's what she did, you have no reason to get that money out of your account, right? And it's fucked up, I get it. On a day-to-day -day person level, hell, that's my money, that's what I worked for. But you know the government somewhere is leveraging that money against something else, some other loan that they probably owe as a fucking state or city or whatever the case may be. But again, yet again, another prominent black woman, this ain't just Keisha that's managing a Wells Fargo somewhere. No, these are city elected politicians and officials that are pulling this stuff. But y'all wants to believe that the average day-to-day -day black woman is just killing black men financially. Got it! It's better than fish grease! That's what y'all simple ass... Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. That's what the fuck y'all want us to believe. That y'all just murdering us when it comes to finances and jobs. And then when you get these perfect, these, this perfect example, I said it right. When you get these perfect examples, a black woman gets in a position of power and absolutely loses her shit. You go to the black church. Again, shout out to BT. You go to the black church and let Reverend Neckbone sit there, lay hands on you, put oil on your forehead and pray for you, hoop, holler and shout. And then you got them chicken pecking little ass boy, grown ass men riding around. Yeah, we're going to support our sisters. The sister was wrong. When the fuck you going to hold them accountable, bro? If you could support them, you could tell her she was wrong. You could tell her where she was wrong. But we don't do that. Instead of telling them they were wrong, we try to get them out of fucking trouble. Again, everything that they have said about black men is true about black women times two. And black women have been getting away with it twice as long simply by being women let me get back to your comments and we are gonna have one more video to react to tonight man and then the boy is going to roll where we at uh where we at where we at yeah that's snow bunny she was on one too messing with sean where we at <clears throat> uh look malika said when white strags go bad look maybe on they bullshit too bro bt says kofa doing a live stream like he need watch hours to get monetized <laughs> of where y'all remember back in the day just last year <laughs> when the boy was like man we ain't gonna be on here long look up it'd be two and a half hours where we at right now shit we at 203 right now i promise you we getting ready to wrap up y'all little blaze talking about the white girl talking about stra strawberry blonde outside sliding with riding in them big facts bt says and her last name is vegan damn me and mo on the go gotta hold that l this is letter l upper and lowercase letter l y'all y'all hold that y'all hold that l bro uh dg is laughing at miss michonne because walmart is racist and the diet don't work for them the same i watch you too much the food the food did you ever make <laughs> the dollar general let me see <coughs> uh quiet Storm says michonne be pimping them snow bunnies uh blaze says i bet she drives a blue prius bumping slime season three knocks down another three ball this guy is hotter than fish grease here look jay gray says that white girl done showed out too and got caught up like she do y'all understand what a what a rico charge is do you understand how hard that shit is to beat? Do you know the amount of time them cats is looking at? And now she wrapped up in with somebody that potentially dropped a body. And she's used her, her ed education and expertise to try to get them to do away with evidence. Do you understand what this little white girl is looking at? 
let's keep on going dg says kofi you should play that video of those those udders you ate while you was overseas they still had milk in them look dg sent me a damn video to my was you eating this shit overseas gave it, it was somebody had cut off some like cow udders and it still had milk i'm like no i ain't eat that weird ass shit i did have a hamburger and a steak but goddamn ain't about to eat no cow titties what do you think of me dg goddamn uh mike has bad knees says uh hearing the way these attorneys speaks makes me think i can get through law school without any issues got it hotter than fish grease <laughs> Quiet Storm says, throw SYCBM, save your community black man, in the trash can. Big fact. Knocks down another three ball. This guy is hotter than fish grease here. Thank you, Brother Malika. He says, absolute power corrupts absolutely. This is what I'm saying. I'm talking about the women because y'all spend so much time making up these scenarios about men, in particular black men, I, which begs the question again, either we're in these corporate positions or we broke and dusty ass niggas. Either you a lying bitch then, or you a lying bitch now. Which one we gonna go with? Got it! Hotter than fish grease! You cannot have it both ways. Y'all love lying on us talking about how abusive black men are when we don't even have that power over black women like that, especially in a corporate setting. So again, you a lying bitch then, or you a lying bitch now? Cause then you'll turn around and tell us we broke and dusty and we don't contribute shit to society which one is it but then you have actual actionable items bitch we can see you you're sitting in these corporate um elected official positions and acting a damn fool and then you're gonna hide behind it like Messi said because the white folks do it or men do it all the time and then you yes y'all do yes y'all do y'all start making up scenarios about black men that aren't even fucking true this is why i preach to the brothers about that positive fuck it you got to understand what you do and don't do when these women are talking about these fuck niggas and how messed up society is and all that shit if you don't contribute to it if you're not contributing in a negative way bro don't even bother getting getting in your feelings about that shit it's a waste of damn time for most of, most of us. I'll I'll go back and forth and have that banter when necessary, just by the con nature of the content and what it is. But in my day to day life, I'll have the conversation. But it gets to a point where I'm just like, you know what, you got it. Y'all keep making up shit about us, and then when we see these sisters out here, you get support from the women, and you get support from the church, and you get support from other guys that are willing to flock in there and play these white knights and support these sisters. Y'all kill me with that shit. That's when I do get pissed off is when y'all lie on us. That's when you will see Kofi get emotional. Stop, again, stop fucking lying on black men. Somebody drop that drop that merch link for me one more time. Well, damn, Corey Jordan already beat me to a salute, brother. Thank you. Stop lying on black men. Let's keep on going. <clears throat> And yeah, Mike, you more than likely could get through um, get through law school without any problem. Jay Gray back here, he said, damn, Kofi, be globetrotting for real out here in these streets. Nah, man, I'm I'm going to work out of town. I'm going to, uh, I'm not globetrotting this time. I'm state hopping, though. I am going to New, uh, not New Orleans, but Louisiana, another part of Louisiana. Uh, Corey Joe says, fair use. Drop the merch link as well. I appreciate that again, brother. Quiet Storm says, fair use, fair use, damn it. Uh, BT says, how she has a Florida home and NAACP, but a but banned for blacks to go to, but the and the NAACP banned blacks from going to Florida. I don't know, bro. What? <laughs> Quiet Storm says, WJZ with Jay-Z smash. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! <laughs> I hate y'all. <laughs> y'all stupid as shit. Uh, Quiet Storm says it's always C-19 fault. Kofa going to Columbia, C-19, BT trolling, C-19, Michonne acting racist, C-19. <laughs> Mike got that, got good knees, C-19. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! Uh, Brother Blaze says, I've never personally known any grown-ass adult to become involved in gang activities. Normally that happens in your adolescent years, stupid motherfucker. Bro, you'd be surprised how much these ties run for motherfuckers that still in their 40s and 50s in Atlanta. 
I've literally seen guys had conversations with guys talking about they finally got up out the game and they were 58 fucking years old. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! I wish I was lying to you, bro. I, I really do. Them cats might start to slow down, but they'll get into they'll get into a little scuffle and mix every now and then. They have some shit going on legally. The oldest cat there I remember saying he finally got up out the game. He was 58 years old, dog. 58. So none of this shit surprised me. Even though I'm joking about a little snow bunny, none of this shit surprised me. Let's keep on going. DG says they will be just, uh, they will just find her. Damn. He says, I don't see her doing any time. We'll see, bro. We'll see. And again, remember that YSL case is connected to the Fani case just by because her office is over both of them. So if Fani is perjured, she loses her license. She's not going to be the DA anymore. The rest of that shit is probably going to crumble. So we got to see how this really going to play out. Steven Dunn in the building. What's going on, bro? He says, the math's not mathing. No, sir. DJ Broken Dusty in the building. What's going on, good brother? He says, only murdering being done is the taxpayer's dollars. In every case we have seen, bro. In every case we've seen. You're 100% right. Brother Malika says, Kofa, why do all these black corporate city girls have on these terrible hyena weaves? The more power they get, the worse the weave and the more edges credibility they look got it. hotter than fish grease i don't know bro but they supposed to be making so much money and they ain't got time to get their hair done that's a great observation malika i know they losing their edges because of stress they thought they could do what men do and got up there and stress shawty put her dress on backwards man got it hotter than fish grease Take that monkey shit off. You embarrassing us. Finally had her dress on back. That's how fucking stressed out sis is. Y'all can get up there and talk as confident, sister girl, neck rolling, all you fucking want to. When that shit boiled down to it, your ass a human being. When it boiled, boiled down to it, you're a human woman. Y'all emotions will take over in a fucking heartbeat. You can put on that hard ass act that I can handle this and I'm a daddy's girl and all that shit. It came to the morning of that goddamn court and that dress was on backwards, y'all. It came down to some dick. You cost the taxpayers a million dollars. I guarantee you that white girl fucking one of them ISL members too. When it came down to some dick, you cost yourself your, free your freedom and your license. When it come down to just being a arrogant ass bitch and probably sprinkle in some dick somewhere, Tiffany Henyard, you done fucked up your damn city that you supposedly supposed to be helping. Let's keep on going, man. We getting ready to go get up out this thing. Bo, 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 wait, it gets worse. DG says here in Cincinnati, the feds got a city council member on fraud. His name was Jeff Pastor. He received he received some jail time. Some of them do, bro. Again, uh, tonight, I want to see what is going to happen with these sisters. Corey Joe, it's all Jermaine's fault. Knocks down another three ball. This guy <laughs> is hotter than fish grease here. Let me see. She is going to claim DEI to, to beat the RICO charges. What's DEI? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm lost on that one. Let me see. Uh, Quiet Storm says, Kofa Derek is trying to get you to co a copyright strike. What? <laughs> what the hell did I do? What the hell DG do? BT says, wait a minute. Y'all wasn't saying fair use in the comments when Kofa was using all of my content. <laughs> Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! Oh, man. Y'all so damn stupid, man. Let me keep getting through y'all comments. I want to get to them all. Quiet Storm says, no, I'm not. The video was funny. Y'all so damn stupid. Look, Quiet Storm says, no, 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 no. Oh. DJ Broken Dusty says these panda preachers are not going to save the city girls. They're not. They're going to try, though. They're going to try. And that's what we're speaking to a lot of times, bro. It's not even typically that these women are being saved. It's the fact that some guys are trying to save them. 
and that the sisterhood would support the the foolishness but when you have a solid sister with common sense like a messy michonne a mona d take heed to the message when you have sisters like that bella bella was in the chat tonight they get called pick me's they get called everything but a child of god but the foolishness that sisterhood is strong with that foolishness let's keep on going um look i swear blaze thank you brother bt get off my neck man i'm gonna cut the check bro i got you uh, Mike has bad knees. Says I had good knees, and then C nineteen <laughs> tripped me up. Got it, hotter than fish grease. <laughs> Y'all silly as shit. <coughs> Damn. Stephen Dunn says, imagine breaking your body for white capital for that long. And DJ says, stop picking on those weed warriors. They are people too. <laughs> Got it, hotter than oh. fish grease. Malika says, Fani is trying to bring back the crisscross 90s back with clothes style. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. (laughs) 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 Oh. Little Blaze says, Fani dress was backwards because she got her daily pipe (laughs) fit prior to court. A few pumps and a grind and four minute tops. Kevin, the cool guy in the building. What's going on, bro? He says, I just found this channel. I'm subscribed already. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! All praise the most high. Welcome to the family, Kevin. Thank you for being here with the Grow family, brother. Y'all make sure y'all, y'all hit Kevin in the chat. Tell him thank you for joining us. He pricked his finger. He's one of us now. Thank you, good brother. Uh, brother Malika says, DI means diversity, ethnic, and inclusion. God damn. God damn. Uh, Blaze says, nah, do like E40 and don't say these hoes. BT says, salute, Kevin. Yes, salute, Kevin. Thank you for being in here, brother. Um, Mike has bad knees, says the foolishness will just will just have the crowd saying she's standing on business. Got, Got it. It's hotter than fish <laughs> grease. <laughs> Storm says, welcome to Section 8, Kevin. You need a tattoo to become... <laughs> y'all stupid as hell, man. All right, last one. I told y'all. But, 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 but wait, it gets worse. So we had Fonnie Willis, Tiffany Henyer, Natalie Hall, Nicole Feagan, uh, Marilyn Mosby, and now former judge Sonia McKnight. Court documents say Magisterial District Judge Sonia McKnight shot her ex-boyfriend in the head while he slept. He's been left blind in at least one eye, according to authorities. McKnight is accused of attempted murder and aggravated assault. She was unable to post $300,000 bail, according to court records. Police say McKnight's ex-boyfriend had recently broken up with her and wanted her to move out of his Susquehanna Township home. Around 1 a.m. Saturday, police say McKnight's ex-boyfriend awoke with massive head pain and was unable to see while she allegedly asked him what did he do to himself the ex-boyfriend was adamant he did not shoot himself police say while calling 911 mcknight could not explain what happened and that she was sleeping and heard him screaming but investigators came to the conclusion she pulled the trigger the location of the wound being one of the big uh, factors here a a gunshot wound to the head um, pretty clearly gives you a um, indication of someone's intent. So the, the charge is appropriate, we believe. Police said a gun registered by McKnight was used in the shooting and that a license plate reader and ring doorbell footage contradicted part of McKnight's accounts of the evening, leading investigators to say her interview was deceptive. Additionally, an investigating officer wrote in charging documents that McKnight tested positive for gunshot residue on her hand. McKnight was already suspended for unrelated <clears throat> reasons prior to this. A state judicial conduct board had alleged a number of counts of misconduct by McKnight that led to her suspension without pay. Tom Layton, WGAL News 8. Bring it back on me. Former Judge Sonia McKnight. She was already on her, I believe, second suspension. The first one stemmed from some bullshit. You know, people in authority, they kids be bad as fuck. Police officers, preachers and shit like that. So she's a judge. Her son got into some shit. And I think she tried to convince a cop to either get rid of some evidence or something like that weird. 
but this was a minute ago. She was suspended then. She was suspended for something else. I think something dealing with some finances again. It's always the fucking, always some dick and some money, right? For the ladies. Ladies, matter of fact, y'all, <coughs> y'all make sure y'all hold this. This is letter L, upper and lowercase letter L. For all y'all prim proper chucks and pearls, I wear chucks and pearls but I shop at Target instead of Walmart ass bitches. Once again, sick of y'all hoes. She shoots this man. First of all, she low-key stalks this man. Let me give y'all a little bit of background. Um, They break up. He takes his key back. One day he comes home some time later. She's back in his couch, house, sitting on his couch in her fucking pajamas. She used a spare key to get in. So brother's word to the wise, when you have these breakups, go ahead and change the locks. You don't know if they made copies of the keys. You don't know what happened. She probably knows where the spare key was, depending on how hard y'all were rocking together. Go ahead and change the locks. First thing you do is keep her out of your house. Excuse me, because you don't know if she comes in there. She might not even mess anything up. She may plant a certain thing in your house at a certain space where she knows you don't go in this room a lot then call the police you don't know how trifling and how hell have no fury like a woman scorn that mean an angry woman is hotter than the flames of hell just because she fucking feel like it again for those new to the channel like kevin i appreciate you being in here again brother but for those new i always say it i talk about women but i'm talking to the men when I show you these crazy ass bras, bro, hopefully you move a little bit smarter because I know I had to. And I like showing you real life stuff, not just celebrities, because this is these are the women we're going to meet at Walmart. These are the women we're going to meet at work. These are the women we're going to meet at the gas station. Let me get to y'all comments, man. Then we're going to get up out of here. But again, she shot this man while he was asleep. Comes home one day, she's in there, they argue. And this is also what happened. He had tried to call her mother and say, hey, can you please talk to her? It's over, miss, miss so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. They'll start using the family. Now he called the mother, but there's no telling what the mother said. Then she hit him with that. Then it became a thing of, we could take it slow, but we need to take a little break. Kind of that weird in between phase. He's upstairs asleep, she's downstairs that now he knows she's in the house again taking them back this is why i talk about this taking them back y'all in that weird space she knows that shit is over she's mad still look you could crash here for a minute go home whatever the case she goes upstairs and shoots this man in the head while he's asleep bullet hits him in the right side comes out the left side he can't see in his left eye by the grace of god Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! By the grace of God, the brother is alive. It's not a game, bro. We could talk this red pill woke shit all fucking day. When these bitches show you they crazy, cut their ass off, change the motherfucking locks. But please do not block them on social media. Don't block them in your text messages. Whatever nasty grams, crazy shit she's sending you, you want to have that in your phone as evidence. Because you may have to be the one to go get the restraining order. You may need that evidence later on when she claims you did something and you weren't nowhere near the fuck around. Once again, prim proper, educated, entitled, chucks and pearls. I vote Democrat. I shop at Target instead of Walmart assholes. <laughs> I'm laughing about Mama Lex. Salute to Mama Lex. You go, girl. <laughs> BT does have a good wife, though. I, I I talk about, I don't talk about their marriage, but I talk about their relationship, like how they met. Like, I know some solid people that are married. I brag on y'all all the time, bro. All bullshit aside, like, I, I love y'all, man. But I brag on y'all all the time. I just like fucking with Lex. You know, me and her have a, a damn Martin and Gina 
uh, relationship or what a Cole and uh, Cole and Gina relationship. I'm the dumb friend, but y'all know I rock with y'all. But real talk, brothers, when it come down to a lot of these professional women, don't get blindsided like I did. My mother has always worked, raised me and my brother, been a wife to my father. They're still married 43 years later. So that's what I was attracted to. That I knew I could have somebody that had my back because she worked or she was educated or she had something like the old folk. You want somebody that got something going for they sell, baby. So those are the women I tend to was attracted to. I fucked that up royally. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! And I'm not saying go out here and find some strag, no job having ass, living off the government chick or, you know, off the street. I'm not saying that. What I am telling you is just because she could have your back doesn't mean she will. That'll preach. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Just because she has the capability to have your back doesn't mean she will, bro. Again, the boy had to find that out the hard way. Some of these other brothers in these situations are finding out the hard way. Now, these women are means, educated, like I said, all this shit, good prominent positions, elected officials, still acting like some fucking city girls over dollars and dick. Let me get to y'all comments before we roll up out of here, man. want to make sure I acknowledge everybody. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? <clears throat> uh, give me a second. Uh... Y'all stupid. DJ says, new trend will be to wear clothes backwards in court. <laughs> Y'all stupid. Uh, Quiet Storm says, Code for straight scrolled smooth past my weave comment. No, I didn't. I thought I said it. I thought, let me see. <laughs> what? I thought I called it. Did I miss it? No, I mentioned it. When you said that um, they're making all this money, how, you know, why they wearing the same weave or something like that? I thought I caught somebody's comment. My bad, Quiet Storm. Um, let me see da, 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 where we at, where we at. Uh, Kevin says, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you. Malika says, damn. Pooh says she's evil. Uh, DJ says, I got you covered, brother. Um, let me see. Quiet Storm says, Kofa Box look like he's, uh, he's playing Space Invaders. What, what, what? I'm lost, man. What the fuck I do? Um, <laughs> Let me see. Uh, BT says, Sonya look like she got a trash nap. <laughs> got it! It's hotter than fish grease! BT, you worried about the wrong shit, brother. Uh, <laughs> Quiet Storm says, Kofa just hit level 1000 in Frogger. Man, that used to be my shit. I used to get pretty high up there, too. Let me see. Uh, Mike Has Bad Knees says, those hoes sure are crafty. Very, bro. They will use family. Every inch of any type of sympathy you have as a man so if ladies are ever wondering why the men are so cold, we fucking have to be. Because y'all will just play on our fuck, simp, talk, all that shit. Y'all will play on our human emotion and then crush that man however, the, whenever the fuck you feel like. Just because. Quick story similar to this. My mom was telling me about a story. This was some years ago that was in the news. I was a kid then. But she was telling me about it when I was a teenager. She was telling me, you know, don't fuck with no crazy women. So basically this guy and this girl, they had been on and off again since they were like in eighth grade. So she knew the family, he knew her family, all that stuff. So it eventually got to the part when they were in their early twenties and the guy finally called the quits done. We can't keep doing this, da, 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 da. They've been, been together since, you know, kids or whatnot. So they finally call the quits. He's back there asleep one day. The chick goes over to the house. She don't like the answer of no. Goes over to his mama house, rings the doorbell, asks if he's there. She's like, oh, yeah, baby, come in. He back there asleep. She don't know that they finally broke up. You know, we don't really talk about his men. We might, it might be three weeks before we tell mama, mama me and uh, me and Cheryl don't even talk no more. Um, but anyways, so of course, mama didn't know. She's okay, baby, come in. Yeah, he back there asleep. He back there in the room. She go back there, put two rounds in his head. Walk back up to the front of the house and tell, look his mama in the face and tell her, I just shot your son. Like it wasn't shit. When they want to be cold, bro, they are the coldest motherfuckers to walk the face of the earth. They get to experience everything. I was explaining this to my friend earlier. I told her, I like, y'all get to cry. 
y'all get to get physically violent. You get to be verbally disrespectful. You get to shut down emotionally and not speak. You get to walk away. You can go down every fucking uh, facet of emotion and nobody's gonna blame you because you're a woman, because you're emotional. But as a man, <clears throat> I can't raise my voice. I can't talk to you in an even kill tone because you're not gonna take me serious. I can't raise my hand, we all know that's wrong. I can't walk away because then I'm a punk and I can't handle my family. I can't handle a real woman. I can't stay because you're going to disrespect me more if you figure I'm staying and I'm going to just let you talk to me crazy as fuck. So I can't leave. I can't stay. I can't speak. I can't be quiet. What the fuck am I supposed to do? It's a reason my brothers are preaching passports. Whether it's to go have some fun in the sun, pay for play, long-term relationships, actually being becoming an expat, whatever the case may be, find your peace somewhere, bro. Find your peace. Don't get wrapped up in these situations like these other brothers. Salute to y'all. Let me catch these uh, super chats before we roll. Make sure I don't miss them. <clears throat> BT with the uh, $4 super chat. He says, oh, he got the hippo character, smacks his hands onto his face and looks around to see if anyone saw what he just saw. Uh, I see that graphic. Uh, you got to put that one in the chat, BT. Corey Joe with the $2. He says, 2K on the way. Thank God. Yes, sir. So, BT, I got you with the three ball. Knocks down another three ball. This guy is hotter than fish grease here. And one. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. So, you got your $4, bro. Corey Joe, I'm going to hit you with the two. These lanes, two dollars. two dollars. I was talking about Auntie Sean today, man. I miss Auntie Sean being in the chat, y'all. I was telling I was telling my homegirl to watch one of the shows and was in the chat uh, when uh, Auntie was in the chat. I told her, I had to tell her she passed, man. <clears throat> uh, where we at? Where we at? We getting ready to wrap up. Y'all can see. If y'all can't tell, I am getting tired. Um, let me see. Ann Pooh says, yep, she used her own gun. How is she a judge? She she is a judge, bro. She was already suspended twice. Like we y'all y'all gotta understand. Lawyers become judges when they want to get a regular schedule, get a break, and the judge has all the power in the courtroom. That's why I say some of these women are the worst to date, bro. That that title that I have, educated and entitled. Once they get that education, they feel like they can do anything they want to do. Again, finally sitting up in the goddamn courtroom with a with a backwards dress on, but talking crazy as fuck to the prosecutor. Talking like how the fuck she want to. Knowing good and damn well she would apply pressure as a prosecution if one of her defendants was talking to her like that from the stand. But they get entitled, they get beside themselves. And this is what we while so many men get pushback with women getting in these positions. Cause that shit usually don't go well. They might help another woman out, but God forbid, they'll cut another woman's throat to get the position in the first goddamn place. Y'all keep on playing. Y'all keep on acting like black men. Men in general are fucking crazy when we talking. We've been around long enough. Um, Blaze says, real simple, give her the needle. Yeah, they got it for attempted murder. He's still alive, though. Uh, DJ says, entitled city girls been watching too much BET. Lifetime scheming. Got it! Grease. <sighs> Malika says Snoop and the Dog Pound said it best. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Knocks down another three ball. <laughs> this guy is hotter than fish grease here. Corey Joe says grade AD got her on crazy. For real, bro. Try to take my man out. Malika says this situation is another cautionary tale. Very much so, bro. Mike has bad knees, says, I'm not meeting them at Walmart. I'm meeting them at Target. Exactly, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's where the professional ones go to go. They 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 go to Target instead of Walmart. So you got to watch them because they'll fool you. Trust me. I know. Got it. It's hotter than fish grease. <laughs> Quiet Storm says, and what have we learned from all this? Educated city hoes will be top dollar for grade A Pipe fitters. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease. They will pay top dollar. They will pay with their careers. They will pay money. They will pay with the county money, with the taxpayers' money. 
Look, Mike BT says facts. Mike has ta target women only. Maybe y'all missing what I'm saying. I'm glad y'all have y'all target women, but trust me, I done seen some well-educated hood boogers, and that's these trifling hoes I'm talking about tonight. Let's keep on going. Um, I know what you meant, uh, Quiet Storm. Yep, they will pay top dollar. They'll pay with their career money. DJ says that's just evil. She's just got a foul spirit. Plain and simple, bro. She tried to help get her son out of some mess. That's why she was suspended the first time. Then, like I said, something financial. Excuse me. And now this. Brother Pooh Man says, why sleep when a crazy broke into your home? I'm leaving hotel room for a couple of nights. I think this was a couple. I think it was a some, some time after. I guess they had reconciled or whatever. Um, Pooh. I think they had reconciled after that. They probably had it out when she was in there, blah, blah, blah. She probably worked her way back in. And that's why I said, brother, brother like myself, I've caved several times. My shit could have went left a couple of times. By the grace of God, I'm still here. And I'm, I'm adamant. And this is why I talk to other brothers the way that I talk to them. Because I could have been there in that situation. Thinking that, oh shit, I'm the one fucking up. I'm a black man. It got to be on me. This, that, and the third. No, bro. Take the inventory. That's why I preach this shit. That's why even as tired as I am after this show, I'm going to sit outside and I'm going to smoke and I'm going to reflect. Come back in, finish packing, get my ass to work tomorrow. Um, yeah, tomorrow. And then do some more reflection and see how I'm going to work out the rest of this channel. So, Mr. Michonne, leave me the fuck alone so I can get back to regular work. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! But again, Pooh, they probably reconciled. He believed whatever bullshit. Her mama, her family probably called, talked, all that shit. That's the dangerous part, brothers. That's the dangerous part. Be able to walk the fuck away. BT, I see a bunch of ones in the chat. I, I haven't even got to what the fuck you put, and I know your ass did it. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! <clears throat> Look, Blaze says, stay three moves ahead, gents. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Alexa play in a question quiet storm says Alexa play cut her off by K cam big facts quiet storm back here he says Kofa no the YouTube bot been deleting my comments damn that's crazy bro that lets you know how good of a moderator you are man if they follow you over here to this small ass channel you a solid brother man keep on cooking uh, BT says I told you I knew it you motherfucker he says, press one if Kofa should give me 75% of his super chats for using my content tonight. BT says one. <laughs> BT says one. Corey Joe says one. Quiet Storm says 1.8. And Blaze says one. God damn, man. Y'all gonna do me like that? Damn, that's a that's a heavy price, bro. Bro, you that heavy handed? 75? 75, bro. We can't do a uh, you can't, you already know hell. Uh YouTube taking 30% off top. Mike hit a 0.75 here on the fence. Thank you, Mike. God damn, I got some help. <clears throat> Look, Jay Gray said it was postpartum depression. <laughs> Talking about the judge. Oh, uh, Quiet Storm. They're going to blame this anything on anything, uh, Jay. Quiet Storm says 0.99. I don't even get a one. Good, good, good. Mike, look, Corey Joe says, uh, exactly. Let me see. DJ says, professional city girls been getting run down. In the D gap, worse than overhang line. <laughs> Got it! It's hotter than fish grease. Oh. Jay Gray says, "Rest in heaven, Auntie Sean." Big facts. These last two dollars. Quiet Storm says, "Kofa, my life has been put in more danger from black women than multiple tours in Afghanistan and Iraq." God damn. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. And I believe every word you typed on this screen, bro. I really do. Corey Joe says, rest in heaven, Auntie Sean. These last uh -oh. two dollars. two dollars. Look, DJ says, uh, it feels safer in Iraq than in Walmart. Many times it does, depending on what side of town you own. Quiet Storm back at it. He says, YouTube taking 30%. BT taking 75%. Kofa, oh, money every time this stream is watched. Got it! It's hotter than fish grease! That's 105%, nigga. I'm in the hole already. I'm finna get up out of this bitch. Um, 
Lee G says, Kofi, did you send Auntie a card for, from us all? No, I sent um that the money from that super chat that night that I um I did a a dedication to her. So all the super chats that night, I sent it to her daughter for Christmas. So that's that's what I did, Gigi. Instead of a card, or instead of a gift, I just let her spend the money how she wanted to during her first Christmas without her mom. So that's what I did, man. I took the money that super chat. Y'all can verify facts with me. Y'all check in with Take Heed, Mona D. I think more on the go because I was hitting them up um, on Instagram. I was going to get the lazy opinion for what I should get her daughter. But then I told them I just decided just to give her the money and let her do what the fuck she wanted to with it. Pay a bill, put some gas in the car, get something to eat, whatever the fuck she wanted to do. So that's what I decided to do with it. But we are getting ready to get up out of here, y'all, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me tonight. I had to go in on these professional, educated, entitled ass city girls. I'm probably going to circle back on this because as I started to dig and me and BT talked a little bit more, man, this shit is going to be the gift that keeps on giving. I did not tell y'all about the sister in North Georgia that was, I think she was, she was a city councilwoman and she got caught selling weed, had been doing it for a while. Somebody finally dropped a dime on her, a sister. There's a sister down in Louisiana somewhere. I think she was a cop. The guy was a cop. And then she shot his wife because she was the side bitch. And then it was another one, I think, in Louisiana where the lady paid, um, again, kind of a funny situation, hired the dude, knocking him down, paying him a little bit extra money, and that shit kind of went left too. Um, it's so many examples, y'all. This is this is wild and wildly out of hand, and I'm low-key kind of happy because it proves that the red pill manosphere, men-centric content space was correct all along. This is why I say you're not crazy when I end these lives. You're not. You see what the fuck is going on. You've seen it for a while. But everybody will pretend you're crazy. But again, I got to go pack y'all. I'm up out of here in the morning. Once again, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Once again, this has been Grow Talk Podcast, where growth stands for gentlemen reaching our wealth through healing. This is where we help men find a positive fuck it. I have been your humble host, Kofa. K-O-F-A. Not coffee. Not Khufu. Not Kofi or any variation thereof. Kofa rounds with Sofa. Easy to say, easy to spell, right there on the screen. Quiet Storm, I'm not fucking with you. I'm not reading no more comments. We're getting out of here. Like I always tell y'all, I love you. Ain't shit you can do about it. I always remember, you matter. You're not crazy. Make better choices. Peace. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Thank you for all the super chats, cash apps, and everything. Um, matter of fact, damn. I like to acknowledge people while I got you. I like to acknowledge you. I'm not looking at y'all comments, whatever shit y'all talking. I'll look back after I'm done. Let me check my cash app, see if anybody threw anything in there tonight. Uh, nope, I think we're good. I, man, I had to hit my mama back. She hit me up with something for my birthday. Thank you, mama. You go, girl. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. But yeah, we're getting ready to roll up out this thing, man. No cash apps tonight, but thank you for all the super chats. Super stickers, I really appreciate y'all. I will catch y'all on the next one one more time. You matter. You're not crazy. Make better choices. Peace.